Okay, we ready. Let's go. Again, some quick disclaimers. I have a complex trauma in my stash. I have Valvor Chief in my stash. If you have a problem with it, I mean, not my problem, dude. I'm just gonna do these runs the way they are the most fun. And eliminating, like, bullshit RNG is way more fun than doing it any other way. Fuck that shit, man. I, I'm not farming lap in, like, an 8-hour run. I just refuse. I just refuse. I don't know if I will actually use Complex Trauma early, though. I have not thought about that. I probably will. Do you get Spectral Troll as a quest reward on Duelist? I don't know. Chat? 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 Where the cheater fucking ready, man? You don't? You have to buy it? Are we sure about that? I bought it. We might be dual wielding here. I trust it and I just bought it, but I think we are dual wield and these. Just because I have my feeling there. Usually, I would want to play 200 in Act 1. I think it's way better for Spectral Draw, but... I'm gonna use Armor instead of Evasion, I think. Actually, is Evasion better? I think 38 Evasion is probably better than 20 Armor. It has to be better. There's no way it's not, actually. You advantage there, killing some extra mobs. 4% XP. I did not change my filter. It's fine, we can change it. I am glad that I spent two hours stalling and then forgot about Filtra. That's stone, nice. I think I missed her this layout, whoops. All good. That's probably not the correct filter, right? But let's use. Uh, I guess we're using tight ice filter, whatever. We might have to sell that vet stone, which would suck, but. You need a lot of wisdom, Sorla. Maybe I shouldn't have ID the gloves. I'm gonna be in here. I don't know if it's actually correct, but I'm gonna be in. Looks like it was actually correct. I like don't really recognize the title layouts, but I have like an idea. Uh, take War Banner, take Dash, sell everything that I don't need, which is pretty much all of it, sell that, equip that, double check for a free link, no. We need a Frost Blink, and we need a Protector, and we need a Volley. Uh, Frost Blink and a Protector, Where's, where the fuck is Protector there?
Well, it goes there. You go there. I can't do this with you. Into the other way, of course. I really need to not have my links. In my weapon. But sometimes there's nothing you can do. Just kill a lot, try to get here. Yeah, link for the ramp. Much appreciated. Much appreciated the prime. Coffee? I already had... I already made a second coffee today. I always drink like two coffees back to back in the morning. And then I kind of don't drink a coffee the entire day. Sometimes I get a third one randomly during the stream when it's a long stream. But... I don't know why I feel like I need two fucking huge cups of coffee every morning. That's probably not ideal. I mean, it's just a habit at this point. I don't think I need it. It's like I make one before I start a stream and then I kind of make a second one before I start playing the game. Because I don't want to, you know, take a break while playing the game. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, another redstone. Oh, another mana flask. Okay. Coffee is not unhealthy at all. I mean, coffee is fine. In moderation. Honestly. I don't know if I consider, you know... Two cups a day in, moder in moderation, but... It's not like excessive abuse. It doesn't feel excessive abuse, I mean... Is it... Real coffee or premade ones? I have a coffee machine at home. Like grinds the beans, makes the coffee. It's nice. Nice and easy. I stopped drinking coffee for like, I don't know, three months last year. But I'm kind of back to it. I don't know, I just like the taste, honestly. I think it's more about the taste than the caffeine. For me. Level 8, that's pretty good, actually. Hmm. Okay, how do I... Do 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 my brain is thinking. I I just need a feeling somewhere else. That's pretty much what it is. There's like not much else to it, right? I think that's the only way to actually change any gear. I don't know if this blue bag it's fucking physical resistant, of course it's so bad. Okay, that's really good. Where's my protector? I'm lost in this layout. Uh, pay attention to the layout. It's a dead end. Of course it's a dead end. I need to buy a lapis too. It's gonna be to here. I 
I'm not killing that. That thing is just not dying. Maybe I could have killed it. The ES was gone. There'll be time for that soon enough. Uh, do 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 do. Faster attack, sure. I could buy Mame. Uh, so this, 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 this. Uh, purchase Rustic Sash. Uh, Lapis. And uh, Mame. Grab skill point, grab free link. Please be a free link, thank you. That's good. Uh, can I buy a longsword or something? Uh, I think it's worth it, I'm buying it. Don't think about it too much. Uh, you go there, you go there. Mame. Um, uh, thinking, thinking, you go there, you go here. That change in attack speed was very unnatural. Uh, volley there. Oh, that does not work the way I was hoping it would work. I kind of forgot. I mean, it's fine. Just aim better. That makes me want to play Helix so bad, if I'm going to be using these links. I mean, I don't have a big problem with playing Helix. I just wanted to use Spectre Throw, but if I don't have the links for Spectre Throw, I think Helix just becomes better instantly, right? Gonna use Iron Ring instead of Sapphire for now. Level me up, thank you. Level 10, nice. I can equip Leap Slam after. So we can de equip that. This is actually like not bad at all. Or how lost I am in this run. Oops, that was a bad frost blank. Uh, keep the volley. Do we need to ID those? I don't think we do. Do you get helix? Uh, I think you do get helix as ranger. Maybe it's only... Sorry, as duelist. Maybe it's only ranger that gets helix actually. Oh my god, single target though. <laughs> no, I actually don't want those close. I can direct buying them. Whoops. Spectre Joe single target is so OP. I wish the clear was as OP. That's without me actually clicking like damage not, because <laughs> I forgot. The best leave some animation, true. Always has been. What, the Leap Slam? I love the Leap Slam. I don't find it goofy at all. Be 
decent layout. I don't know, am I playing Helix or am I playing Spectre Tro? What do you guys think? I feel like I should play Spectre Tro and just learn to fucking aim. I think that's the real answer here. I think Complex Drama is pretty much always better. On Slayer, I don't know if you ever want to use... Wait, I'm trolling. Wait, what? No, I'm not trolling. It is here. Swapping to Helix after Oversoul. wonder what the logic is there. Like, why would you swap there? You know? For Jack, for mapping, it's always better. I don't think there's an exception for mapping. I'm gonna try Helix on this run. I haven't leveled with Helix in so long. And I'm gonna keep Spectre Throw in my inventory. For the exact reason you just described. Don't actually get helix then, huh? Well, we oh my god, that item is insane. I don't need- I don't have the dex to use this? Oh no, I'm getting the dex, we are fine, we are fine, we are fine, don't worry. No reason to fucking yell. Yeah, that makes me want to use Helix more. Oh, whoops. Because the only problem with Helix is damage. But if you have a weapon like this, it should not be a problem. That's a wild statement, eh? The only problem with Helix is damage. Imagine trying to say that three weeks ago. Because mechanically, Helix is very, very good for leveling. Like, very, very good for leveling. I would argue it's better than anything else. There's, like, skills like Helix that, like, are just bad for full clearing, but very, very good for killing some monsters in the zone. I don't know when the Helix nerf was, actually. I don't remember. Yeah, uh, I just, this is my build now. You're just helixing. I mean, I'm sure Spectre Throw would be more single target here, not even close. Because my weapon is fucking insane. My weapon is fucking nuts this run. Helix champ was such a solid build. Yeah, I really liked Helix champ. Now I feel like any mela build you want to play, you have to play Bone Cheddar. There's like nothing else that like feels good early game. And then, okay, have to is a strong word. You obviously don't have to. There's stuff that's like good enough, but... When I say have to, I mean to be like remotely optimal, right? That's what I usually mean by saying have to. It doesn't ever actually mean have to. Am I gonna switch to Helix on single target though? That's the question. Or sorry, to Spectral Troll on single target. Ready, 
I feel like I should for Val specifically, but... I mean, shouldn't Helix be pretty decent there too? Like, it's not like Helix is going to suck at Val. But I guess the idea is that Spectre Tower is better. I'll keep it in my inventory. It doesn't really take time to swap on Val. Like, you don't really lose time. I'm gonna go for the blue pack here, just to get a head on XP, because XP can be a problem on Helix. My body armor is really good, but I don't think I can wear it. What's KB? You mean like, play CF already? And I would not play CF early game on that build ever. I would never actually play CF until like BA minimum. Unless you are glad, but even then I probably wouldn't. Yeah, my leap stems feel kinda okay. They don't feel as bad as I expected them to feel. I don't think that boost better can ever be better. I'm not even gonna bother checking. I have to leap some into some walls now that I said that. Do you ever use added fire instead of maim? Uh, honestly, I could have, but I didn't have the transmutes to do that at the time. Because you, you definitely want maim on your totem then, if you do that right. But it is, it is minus one transmute. I need to clean my inventory, this is really bad. I'm wasting resources. Uh, Blood Rage, yes, and, uh, cannot buy Herald. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, if you buy Maim and then you use, like, Cruelty later on, you don't have to spend an extra turn speed, right? That's my, that's my idea behind that. Because, like, I would... Probably you. Oh my! <laughs> Fucking EA is so broken. I can't do this with you. Almost lost to a bunch of zibbies. What is this? Speaking a party of zibbies, I and uh, this almost fucking shut me down. What is this? EA is so broken. It is. Oh, 16, nice. Time for some light pay to win again. Clip by Ragden. Oh, it was clipped by Ragden. I didn't even know that. Uh. <laughs> that clip is so iconic. That clip is what pops into my head every time I see or hear about EA, though. I mean, to be fair, that's arch name in Gauntlet. Right. Like, as much as we want to shit on arch name at every opportunity, like, Gauntlet is, like, an extra level to that. Do you guys know, is Poachers Act 2? Or is it Poachers Act 3? Oh, I forgot Sniper's Mark. Oh, I guess you don't want to use Sniper's Mark on Helix anyways. 
It is Hector? Okay, so I do want to buy that. Pretty sure I do want to buy that instead of Wolm. For leveling, I think it's just better. Yeah, Snipe on Helix is bad, I know. It's bad on uh, Spectral Draw as well, right? Pretty sure. I think it's just bad on everything. Oh, those are good boots. And they have a red socket too, Hogan. Why does this run actually feel kind of good? I thought I would suffer on duelists like super hard. But I don't hate it so far. There's a weapon. Yeah, that probably plays a role, eh? That's, that's a good point. That's, that's kind of always been the problem I had with melee leveling. It's like too RNG dependent. Helping Alira? Yeah, of course. I always will help Alira. I hated not helping Alira yesterday, and that was on Necro. And Necro is like the only class I would even consider not helping Alira. Helping Alira is correct. I, I will not be convinced otherwise. If you don't want to help Alira, you don't have to, but... I will not be convinced. Morally correct? Um, yeah. Decide with the woman. Kill the man. That seems morally correct to me enough. Oak is goaded? There is no way that's actual real command. Your bestie, I know. I don't need it. Uh, take Kroll to here. Need her out of Ash or something. And poachers. Uh, Ash. I don't know where to put that war banner. Hmm. It's the wrong gem. How oh, is it going? Surprisingly decent, but I high rolled my weapon. I think I'm gonna go the Giga Witch route. And click resist here. Yeah. I don't really need it. I mean, I kinda do. I wish I didn't throw the Iron Rings on the ground now. Some loot. You take those. 
none of that look like something I would want to use there, so... Getting a chance or one chance orb and a bunch of outs, I think. Works for me. Um. Okay, I don't know how we do this. I we kind of need to get it resist ring. I'm gonna go to Act One, grab my skill point, decide there. Um, yeah, I will do it. I don't care. Don't care that it's slower. Just take care. I did not grab the scope one day. I think glove and chain is fine. The armor is always good, so... It just makes gearing easier and you can always unspec it later. I shouldn't have thrown the sapphire on the ground. I didn't realize my cold dress was actually higher than my uh, lightning dress. Should have checked better. Did I get a tax speed there? I didn't read it in time. Both are in chain is to regret or Balera. I mean, I just do both. Also, the mana region is not irrelevant. Even when you get leech, I don't think the mana region is irrelevant. When you have zero Elrions. I don't know, maybe it's a skill issue, but it's not irrelevant for me. I just do what Elk does. I mean, what Elk does is not correct, though. Well, I mean, I guess it's a... How do I put this? I guess it's a preference thing, right? But like, Alkaisa doesn't use Berserk. Ever. On any of his bone zones. Like, the only reason, in my opinion, that Alkaiser belts look even remotely good is because he is a really good player. Otherwise, they would just be tanky, that's it. He makes them look fast because he plays well, or like, like you know, but I would probably never play Bones on Vipal Berserk the way Alkaiser does. Is your words carefully now? No. People can have different opinions. Oh, this is a dead end. I think if you have, uh, if you just base your opinions on what others do and never change or never question it, then how the fuck are you gonna improve, right? Like, you should just do both and then decide which one you like more. I mean, I'm sure there is reasons why Alkaja doesn't want to use Berserk, but I just disagree with them. But we play the game very differently. And I think mean, that's fine. I mean, by that logic, right? One of Alkaiser Ben has to be wrong if you feel like there's only one way to play the game. Because Ben does use Berserk. So one of them is wrong. I don't know who, but one of them has to be. I don't know, it's just, I think people value different things on builds. That's pretty much where the disconnect comes from. Remember when I was like, my leap feels kind of decent? It doesn't feel decent anymore, I lied.
Where is the exit? There, maybe? Oh no. Full clear time? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. I have no idea what level I am. That's not a good news, though. What to do? Okay, never mind. We're fine. Strength taking bones on a thing. You can make it, yeah. It's like one of those things where like, oh, you do strength stacking and then you put any skill on it and it works. Like I've seen fucking strength stacking reap deal enough damage, so. I mean, that's like the whole idea about stuff like that, where like, if your offense is so overwhelming, you can just use whatever skill you want to use, right? I feel so rusty on Duelist, but the time is like, okay. Hmm, you go there. I need a new weapon after this soon. What is my accuracy? It's like not too bad. Ah, da, 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 da. I'm gonna save War Banner for when he comes back. Really? My damage wasn't even bad. It's just bad sequencing. Unlucky. I kinda don't wanna equip the Onyx Amulet even though it would be correct to do so. The reason I don't wanna equip it is because I'm scared that I would overlevel something in the wrong way. Anyone remembers the recipe for... The double stat amulets? Actually? Is it Lapis, Strand, the amulets of your choice? Do, 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 does the quality matter on those two? Do you know? Priority no? Okay. So I think we're gonna do the recipe. Because I will need more decks sooner rather than later. Unless the jade I get from the quest is crazy, I'm very much doing the recipe. There's an alt, I need that. Where the fuck was that alt? Oh my god, I don't know if that was worth it. Probably still was. This ones are so outdated. Zero like map icons. I mean, I can't really complain. I'm too lazy to make my own filter, you know? Raising filters are a lot of effort for not that much reward. Because unless you are like actually racing, racing, they don't really make that big of a difference. 
I have no idea what my resist is, but I don't think I care about my resist. Just because, like, it's pretty hard not to have good resist with Cloak and Chain and Aldera. Yeah, it's good enough. I think I'm gonna check the vendor here. You don't get determination, I didn't know that. Come on, talk to him. Uh, double X, sure. I'm doing that. Uh, bam, bam. Uh, any three links? No. Oh, four links is what I was looking for, but whatever. Really? That is kind of what I was afraid of, not gonna lie. Hmm. See, this is a problem with fucking decks stuff. I guess this is the argument to click in note so you don't have to worry about this stuff ever. I should have just not leveled it and this wouldn't have been a problem. How do I fix it and it like how do I fix this fast? I think I have to just get to Solaris one and like suffer until then. Is Zablox even that good of a base? Yeah, it's pretty good for Helix actually. Maybe I should have done the 33 base and uh, 28 base instead. I think one of the bases is bad and I don't know if it's the 23 or the 28 one. Is there a way to get Dex on my skill tree right now? I don't think there is anything that's like actually good. I think I can craft Dex, but I don't know if I have the craft. I don't even know where you open that craft. I mean, by the time I can get Dex, I mean, I'm just going to do the recipe. I missed a question about the Catalyst. Uh, pretty much, I never use Fertile Catalyst except on a belt, and like, yeah, unless you have a Hunter belt, I don't think it makes a big difference, so, anything but those, I guess. Is the answer? I'm gonna go left side first here. Normally I go dots first, but... I'm gonna go left side first just to fix my stuff. I think it makes sense. Even if it's like an extra load screen. Nah, I should have still done ducks. I kinda regret going here now. It's fine, whatever.
I wonder if just sacrificing Blood Rage is correct by now. Just to get more damage on your weapon. And eh, probably not. I think the times where we played like Vermilion Rings with Fertile Catalyst are just over for the most part. Like the only time I've considered doing that recently was like a uh, Necro. Otherwise I like never bother anymore. That's not gonna be the way. I just don't know where to go. Probably go down. This, I hope this is not a dead end. It doesn't look like one. And I put 12 dex graph, 1520, thank you. It's one augment, right? I remember the cost. There's some problem with it. I think you cannot craft it on a belt or something, because I remember. Talking about it with Nick during Exalcon practice. At the Catalyst for accuracy? You could, yeah, especially if you have like double accuracy ring or something randomly. You oh, you don't. Okay, what I did made no sense. I didn't realize you don't actually get the amulet. I love the fact that I have fucking axe notes. I have fucking axe notes while, uh, you know, using a sword. I, if my sword wasn't this good, this run would have been such a disaster. I'm gonna put it this way. Well, I mean, at least we know what to look out for next time. At least you still get the onslaught on the sword, too. There'll be time for that soon enough. So let's see how good this six amulet is. Uh, fuck, I misclicked. It's actually pretty good. I can't use it though. Uh, I mean that works. Can keep this for later. Okay, that was kind of rough. I mean, that's just because strength can't normally roll on belts ever, right? So it kind of makes sense that it works the way it does. I mean, uh, this runs like okay. Seven alts, okay, that was definitely worth killing. I was like, I'm not sure if this is ever worth killing, but it definitely was. It's whirling, but it's on an axe. It's like, no way you use that. So normal app doesn't do anything on Slayer, right? So there's like kinda no reason to do normal app early.
You get leech? No, you don't get anything. You get accuracy, I suppose. I'm not going champion. And if I did go champion, I would not go master of metal. I would just go adrenaline. Bone Cheddar Castle on Credidi. I don't think you want to see the Bone Cheddar double cook ever. Trust. I've seen Quantic get them dead, it's not good. It's wild that the best ascendants in the game, normal lab, doesn't even do anything for you. How is this fair? It's the longest fucking layout I've ever seen in my life. I don't know why I even checked. There was like no way it actually goes there. Am I over leveled? 28? A little bit, yeah. You can start skipping a little more. Not too much more though. There's a four link for green. Maybe I should have tried to grab it and like figure out the links for it. Kind of regret not grabbing it now. For red though. So you've chosen to end our affinities. I shall cherish your memory. That was not clean. Why is my damage so bad? Like, I feel like it should not be this bad. I feel like the damage shouldn't be that bad there. See you. Is helix problems? Yeah, maybe maybe it's like a helix. Helix on that boss specific problem. Need a better life flask. I think I'm gonna do his arrow here. It just lines up nicely. Even though I don't actually need to lap. I mean, I guess it's not worthless. So. My accuracy is probably shit, yeah. I should be playing precision. But I don't know if I can fit precision. I don't know which one is better, honestly. I haven't leveled the Helix in forever. Um uh, Sure. Watch yourself. So I'm trying out Helix. After a long time. You stand before the gates of I can't really equip precision right now. It 
is bad. You really need it here. How do I fix that? What can I drop, let's say? I mean, I could drop poachers for uh, precision, technically. The problem with precision is that it's going to be giga high level now, too. Okay, I need to fit in precision after lab somehow. I will figure it out. Hopefully we get something in lab that allows us to do so. I don't care about the extra key. I don't really want to make it harder for myself. He should be faced. He is faced. Oh my god, okay, dude. That's so bullshit that it fucking summoned at the end. I don't think the Slayer accuracy node is going to be enough, that's the problem. It's a percent accuracy, I don't have any flat accuracy anywhere. And I will check if it's enough, but I have a bad feeling that it's not going to be. Oh my god. Thank god I evaded. He was aiming at the fucking totem the entire time. Good master, what master? Okay, how am I supposed to get the mastery? Eh? And do you think I would be in a situation where I feel like I have accuracy issues if I had an accuracy wheel in the first place? Come on. Closest accuracy master is probably 17 levels away, or 17 points away. I go against what I said previously. What did I say previously? Additional accuracy support. <laughs> Good one. That you had accuracy issues. Yeah, but how am I supposed to... Okay, listen. I don't want to yell at you. But tell me which accuracy fucking notes am I supposed to click on the skill tree. If you're gonna tell me to click accuracy notes. Like, what is the closest accuracy wheel you see on the skill tree? This one? 17 points away? Like, I also don't have a mage blood. Is the solution just get a mage blood? I mean, honestly, yeah, but... Uh, Shadow Axe. Okay, I got three rare Shadow Axes. There has to be something good. Anything good there? 2%, I don't care. Uh, Slayer. I almost clicked champ. Okay, the Slayer Accuracy Note kind of fixes it for the most part. Honestly. Okay, that's the axe that we use. What level is that? 33. Is 
Just unknowing accuracy, true. That is the solution. I could just unknowing accuracy. We just could, could get some holes. What is the earliest? They run maps. You used to be able to do it in campaign. But you cannot anymore. I mean, technically, there might be a way to get those without going to maps, like from Heist or something, maybe? I'm not 100% sure about that, but... Hackers is like 96% now. Slayer kinda OP. Slayer kinda OP. I do have the problem where my precision is gonna be too high mana cost. Once I actually get it. In X6. Well, I guess what I could do is get level 1 precision. But I definitely should have grabbed like a lower level precision at some point. It's the node. You can ask accuracy. Does Kyra not play precision? Oh, I guess what he does is he just rushes RT after he switches to Bone Shatter at like level 50. Like you just suffer a little bit. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it doesn't sound the worst. We might try that. Because you, you go RT quite early after you switch to Bone Zone. Anyways. Where's the boss? Right there. I did not think you were supposed to have RT when you swap. I mean, he didn't have it in his speedrun either. It might be in his guide just to prevent some, like, you know, people doing wrong things, but. I think you sacrifice too much rushing RT super hard. I'm just gonna grab it when it's convenient. Which happens to be like start of Act 7, I think. Is my duelist time just faster than my witch yesterday, by the way? <laughs> I'm very sure yeah, the answer is yes. Which is so triggering. Because I know for a fact I'm playing worse on this than I was playing on the witch. Fucking witch is just so weak. No, I don't do Wildwood in these runs at all. Not a Wildwood believer. Well, not, it's not even not being a Wildwood believer. It's more like I'm not a Wildwood go score believer in any way, you know. I think it's good enough to swap to it. Just because four sockets is very, very good. Now this is grim. I 
definitely have too much undeserved mana. Should be running like a Herald of Fear too. Or I can actually fit Precision now. Yeah, I should go grab Precision. I wonder how much mana it's gonna cost, but... No, I should go grab Herald of Purity, maybe. I don't know what it is. I should grab something, though. I'm gonna grab attack speed on this axe, by the way. Because I have so many alts. I think it's definitely worth it here. I think it's like 100% worth it. It's perfect. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Wasted a little bit of time. It would have went to hideout anyway, so it doesn't matter. So your jack, which is better? Uh, we got one gem. One sec. Which is better, eh? Evaluating, evaluating. When you ask that question, the answer is probably Jack. Yes. I don't want to waste three transmits. Saying I'm bad at this game? Ah, uh, not bad, but it means you haven't played Bone Cheddar before. Most likely. I think for the first time playing Bone Cheddar, Jack's probably better. If you want an honest opinion from my point of view, I think Slayer is better for the first two days of the league, and I think Jack is better for any time after that. Up to you how you wanna take that information. When I say two days, I should clarify that means like until level 95 without dying, I guess. Well, until you get like good gear, more or less. Like, jack damage early on just doesn't feel great. But once you get like a certain threshold of damage on jack, it just feels better than Slayer. That's pretty much how I see it. Happy to help a in yeah, I think my take on uh, Jaguar to Slayer is pretty level-headed. I mean, Karn's argument is going to be, but Slayer does more damage in game than Jag. And even if that was true, what the fuck are you going to use the damage on? I don't think most people should ever boss on Bone Shatter. I mean, anyone should really boss on Bone Shatter, unless your name is like Al Kaiser. Early Jack swaps. Oh, yeah. When I play Jack, I level with Sunder all the way till maps, for sure. I don't like early Bone Cheddar on a, on a Jack at all. I don't know, I feel like my take on... Uh, on Jack versus Slayer is pretty good. I mean, of course, everyone thinks their own take is good, right? But. I actually played both of them enough. This is fucking dexterity, that's not good. I don't like the fact that it has dexterity. If 
fucking chickens, man. I almost died to them. I think if I didn't frost wing there, I actually just got fucking exploded. Chickens are OP. Oh my, silver flask? On a one build that actually doesn't use it? Kinda of bullshit. There's just no way to use it, right? Pretty sure. Do I think we will get a teaser this week? No clue. I don't expect one yet. I do expect the announcement of the announcement though. Okay, that is an open suffix. An open prefix. Okay, duh. Um, I could just use Pride right now. And I think I will switch to Pride. I think my mana is good enough that I can switch to Pride instead of uh, Herald of Ash. I don't know where my Herald of Ash is. There? There. I kind of don't like Pride on Helix. But it's better than Pride on Spectral Throw, I can tell you that much at least. Also, this amulet better be insane. I Ideally, I equip it and never de-equip it until the end of this run, because it's a turquoise. Please be good. Nothing about that is good. That belt is really good though. Oh. My resist is so scuffed. So I'm missing fire and cold dress. Can craft on belt and helmet. Those items are probably not changing anytime soon. Fire and Coldress. Let's grab that first so I know which one. Fire. Level check, 35. I'm giga over leveled. I mean, I'm pretty happy with how this run is going. It's not too bad. It's definitely not too bad. So, are the next points just wasted points? I think I'm gonna grab the life notes first. And then start clicking the bone shatter notes. I need to start looking for a falling grat for the bone shatter. Maybe I should have grabbed the whetstone. Might need to use it for a weapon. The I never thought of the cannot leech or cannot be leech from by enemies as an upside until this league when I encountered some of the Abyss monsters. I think it's actually really good against Abyss monsters with a lot of wisps. I was so surprised. The Leech is so strong on mobs. Turns out when like tanky mobs heal like 10% a second or 20% a second or whatever, it's kind of hard to deal with.
It's also a stat that you just kind of cannot really get anywhere else, right? I don't even know if there are other sources of it. Oh yeah, there is actually some unique sec. I think you, you might be right about that. What was the level I said that I need to level my bone shatter to? Was it 6? Was it 6 or 4? I forgot. Hmm, whatever. I'll just level it. Worst case scenario, we die. Seven? I don't think it was seven. That's a dex essence. Oh, I was reading it so nicely too. Then I just hit a dead end rip. I'm gonna switch my filter. Oh, guys, stop looking. What are you looking for? A fucking hut or what? Duelis is so OP. I don't think Duelis is that OP. I actually think more order is OP for leveling, unironically. It's just not the fastest, but it feels like super easy and super free. Like you have so much damn on more order. And so much defense. Oh no. Didn't. I, don't know, I don't really like Duelist leveling, honestly, ever since they nerfed Helix. Yeah, Act 1 Marauder is not fun. Oh, this boss is not fun either on Helix, I can tell you that much. Actually, it wasn't that bad. Honestly. I thought it would be a lot worse. I mean, I feel like that's the story of this run. Every every like two minutes I'm like, I thought this would be a lot worse, I thought this would be a lot worse. I don't know, I guess Helix is still just fine. Pretty sure I like Spectre Throw more though. I don't know, they're close. Close enough. Kinda own do it there. Save this in case I need a spoiling later. How much damage is this? It's so much damage. <laughs> I'm gonna use the boots. They're just too much damage to pretend they don't exist. I'm sure that damage is noticeable. It's shock ground too. I guess I do have a lot of fist notes, but still. Why am I so overleveled? 
Like, I feel like I should never be overleveled on Helix. That has to be a misplay. Like, I feel like for my level, this is not even a bad time. It's like, fine. You go there. What is next? Oh, I forgot Axe Mastery. Whoops. I'm just gonna sell those boots, they are not good enough to take it back, I think. Okay, I need to be a little careful there, my Pyrus is not capped. Ah, which is Bio 6 Link. The sub damage on Complex Trauma is not that bad. It's really not. I don't think Duelist gets Brutality, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually. His gloves are decent. 16 and live. It's just annoying to use uh, items that don't have a lot of sockets, so. I'm a little wary of those. Gloves. I really don't think you need that much BDR for... I mean, you're Jack, right? You're not even Slayer. Try to get Gravishous Crowd. If you're all into it, you can go Gravishous Crowd, but it's not like super important. On Slayer, it's a lot more important. I mean, even on Jack, you should honestly go for Grab if you can. It's just hard to get. You, you have to like multi mod a prefix, and then prefix is gonna be changed, and then reforge, reforge face, and then like try to slam the other suffixes, and then craft Gravishous basically after you have two good armor, like person armor, flat armor prefixes. Like, it's definitely doable, but it's just a lot of effort to get Gravishes. It's worth it though, on your endgame chest. Oh my fucking god. What's even happening to my character? How did I almost die there? Slayer moment. Okay, dude. I'm Anas and the Duelist. I'm not even a Slayer. Currently my ascendancy is worth uh I think it's worth about like three nodes on the skill tree with fifty percent increase accuracy. Ninety four accuracy is good enough. Will the strike? Nah. I don't know what your links are, but It's either Fortify or Impale, whichever one of the two you don't have.
Well, this strike is like a single target only gem. Like bossing only. There's no point using it while mapping. I don't know how much this filter hides and it's a little scary to me. I hope it doesn't hide shit while leveling. Why would you ever hide shit while leveling on your filter? Makes no sense, right? Surely it doesn't hide much. No rare is dropping. And I will see on like Innocence or whatever how many rares it shows. Level check. 38. This is where we start clicking the notes. It's time, guys. The next, like, 5 million notes are worthless. Actually, what I should do is I should click the armor notes first, then. I will click the armor notes first, then. I'm switching to Bone Shader in Act 6 on this run because I'm gonna try it out. Because normally I don't. Okay, it looks like it shows a fucking one handed axe. So there's no way this will just actually straight while leveling be good. I think that sound is Jeweler or Chrome. That's something I need to backtrack for. Don't love Bust Jump. Decent life flask. Not the worst. Okay. Uh we are not farming here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we are not farming here. We just full clear once. We have enough XP to just go. I dropped so many fucking one-handed axes in this zone. No one wants that shit. It's better not be a one-hander filter, man. Oh, I keep leveling my bone shader, I need to be careful. We are pretty good on levels 41. I actually over leveled as fuck, technically. But 
But they're snubbing as like being too over leveled in here, I think. I could use that, but I don't think I care. Uh, this one needs to be saved. The gloss probably need to be saved. Can't even loot this boss, that's a little annoying. My inventory is so filled up. Can I get accustomed to Helix? I no longer wanna swap. <laughs> is that a weird thing to say? I should have rooted the body armor, maybe. From check, 11. That's pretty good. I should have logged. I don't know why I didn't. That was just bad. Just greedy. Like I would have only lost like 20 seconds by logging. I mean, even if I didn't die, it was still a bad move to not log. Like it's kind of fine when you have an instant life pod to be like that. But if you don't, then I should have just logged. Morning. Good morning. I need to get the craft here, I always forget when I play Mela. What's the next weapon base? It's like 41, 45, right? Not, not sure which one I'm supposed to get. Never fucking remember. Bring one in what? XP? I don't know, you can probably just XP on CF, blood. I don't know, XP races are not really a thing, especially not ascendancy races. It's hard to rate builds for them. No one really thinks or practices these things. Okay, I can tell you that much. Lacerate of Emirate is not the not the skill you want to be playing. That's the one thing I know.
I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the answer was like fucking bone shitter and you just play basically unascended bone shitter. Or like 20 attack, 20 more attack speed bone shitter basically. Wouldn't even surprise me if that was the answer. Or glad question. Dude, Lacerate has like zero clear. Like it actually hits no mobs, and I don't even think Glad saves that. Well, specifically the new Lacerate. Because it doesn't even have a Sense Stance version, right? Playing a Glad. Yeah, and. That's like saying like you're playing an occultist, it doesn't matter which skill you use. Like that's just not true, still. So, even if people like to say that. Like it helps. It would be like all completely unplayable if you weren't glad, but You can just play Divine Shield the same way champion bone shitter plays. Sell everything. We don't need this. This. Uh, this. This. Probably don't need that. Don't need that either. Give me a weapon. That's not dog shit, please. Give me a weapon base. Rip. Uh. Let's save that. Let's save this. Let's save granite. I need some boots. So crash, I have the same problem. We should crash, I think it hits like no mobs. I'm pretty sure fucking glad blade storm would be a better option than like all these like lacerates and shield crashes. And that build fucking sucks. But at least it's a skill that hits monsters. I mean, if you're asking for rank 1 glad, like... That means you have to hit fucking 100 in the first two weeks of the league, let's be real. Doesn't even matter. I mean to click that, but whatever. Oh, that's pretty good. Dude, this swap is gonna be miserable. I'm worried about the swap. I wanna get the level 45 weapon and level 45 before I swap ideally, I think. Getting all the sockets is gonna be rough. That's like the main problem. I need a new boots. Uh, isn't Utula weapon a sword? 
for Duelist. I think only Marauder gets an axe. Pretty sure Duelist doesn't get it, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna go check because I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but I might be wrong. Okay. Open, uh, not open suffix there. Open suffix there. Not open suffix there. Open suffix on the chest. So we can grab fire and cold and like be like, okay, this is wise. Rank 1 SSF hardcore was shield crash. Yeah, but like, when did he hit the 100? Like, you, you realize that rank 1 glad is the only person that plays glad. Like, it doesn't really matter what the skill is. It's like an empty statement, kinda. I mean, you're already playing a glad, right? So it's like playing without a leg and a hand and whatnot. And then like equipping shield crash removes your second hand. That's how I, that's how I view this stuff. Playing without a brain? Nah, that's Jack. That's different. Playing without a brain is not even a bad thing. That's like, I, f I would consider that a good thing in PoE. Or yeah, actually that's Chieftain, true. Chieftain is a better no-brain class than Jack even. Both of them are really good for it. I did not grab my resist yet. My uh, Tukuhama is going to be really bad. I might die. I can't do this just yet. Little boring. And I could fix that before I go in. And I don't think I will. Maybe I should have. I kind of regret not fixing it already. Especially because Helix is not ideal for this fight. The damage on Helix on this fight always felt weird. Even when Helix was OP. What do you mean? It wasn't even self-ignite. I would say the Kazu and Stun Chieftain was more popular than Fulcrum Chieftain and a better build. The only reason Chieftain got popular is because you needed a tanky MF character. That's the reason Chieftain got popular. Like if that's ever the case in the future, I lost so much time just needing, like, being low on resist. It would have been way faster to literally go to my hideout, craft resist, and then fight this boss. And trying to, like, outplay it at 50 fire res. 0% chance this was worth it. Whatever. Play the game, stop complaining. One more zone, I think. Before we swap. Hi. 
Trying to take the exit is not that good, I don't think. I guess it's pretty good for bleed actually. Oh, this swap is gonna be painful, man. I can freeze when good I did it. Okay, we do title here, and then we swap. There's a lady in a town, but... I need to not level this bone jitter now. The character is so weak right now, it's insane how weak it feels. Like, I feel like it should not be this weak. But it somehow is. I mean, Helix is awful for full clear, but that's besides the point. Morada feels a lot stronger at this point. Sandra is. Or at least Sandra that is. Did not pull clear. Classic. I don't think discount. Did you guys see? Oh my. Wait, that, that mob was dead. It was just fucking bugged. That's bullshit. Uh, Hetzman Axe, sure. Good enough. I can dexter it again, whatever. I can craft dexter if I need to. Uh, think, Chad. Think, 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 think. I mean, that has dexter on it. Life tap, uh... I need boots. I need boots with sockets. Don't I have boots actually? I don't. Rip.
It's actually surprisingly okay. Sure. I'm just gonna use level one, I don't care. Okay. GG. Uh okay. That honestly went way better than I expected to go. See you. I'm doing pretty good. I would say that was actually pretty good. I'm not unhappy with how I managed that swap. I don't know if I'm missing anything important, it's possible, but as long as I can play the game, I don't really care. Maybe just rush RT, right? Pretty much. I mean, I'm missing second totem and stuff, but... I still haven't picked the Axe Master. Fine, I need to get used to Prison Blood Rage again. I'm using Pride War Banner right now. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be using, but Pride War Banner doesn't seem too bad. Where's mobs, man? Hello? Sorry, dead turn war banner is what I meant. No pride. Nah, do no dead turn is psycho. I don't wanna use no dead term. I mean, you probably could, honestly, if you just don't level your bone shitter. You can fit all three, yeah, but not, well, fucking leveling and not having a leech. And not having life top everywhere. You can just equip all three without any precautions. No, oh, my attack speed is so cringe. I can craft attack speed on this weapon though.
That's a real problem, the socket starvation on this build. Always has been. Should be faced. My dude, you should be faced, I told you. This is not really bam bam bam, this is more like bam. 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 <laughs> you know, uh, it's definitely not fucking bam 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 yet. Gonna do this. I need this craft. Attributes are actual real problem on this build. Though. No, dude, I'm not leaving. Oh, Labrys. Who did? I never swap on Jack early, so I wouldn't know. Oh, I got a reload, that's huge. Might try to use that to craft a weapon later. Oh, I don't have War Banner keybind. I was like, I'm missing a keybind. Is it down here? It is down here. I feel like the swap doesn't feel amazing, but it feels better than Helix. I wonder if just playing Sunder to Act 10 is better even on Duelist. Because I feel like I don't love this. When you pop everything, the damage is pretty good, especially since I have the War Chief thing, which like normally you wouldn't have at this point, but still, usually you wouldn't have it. You can, but pretty unlikely. My resist is actually capped, which is kind of surprising. Uh, grab that. I was surprised how cleanly I swapped, honestly. I, I was just aware of needing a lot of red sockets, right? But I thought it would be a lot worse. I feel like I actually did worse on the swap yesterday on a fucking caster than I'm doing here. Which is wild because I'm way more comfortable clicking caster stuff. It's not even close. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to do this. And that. Uh, okay, we are at RT now. Okay, we should be blasting. What we should be thinking about is what is our next weapon upgrade. I think I want a slightly faster weapon than I have right now. 
I have a 45 weapon. Um, what is the next weapon I should be thinking about upgrading? I mean, my weapon is pretty decent though, so... Not no... Um, Despot seems a little too late. There needs to be something in between. What is the base right before a chopper? Level-wise, anyone knows? Is it Noblax? What, what, is Noblax 51 or is it like 54? Gilded? Gilded's like 23 or 28. 28, I think. I can tell you it's definitely not Gilded BPX. That is definitely not the answer that we are looking for right here. I don't think it's here. The exit? Oh, it was. Okay. Never mind, then we didn't complete the her mission. Abyssal is one before chopper. Hmm. 125. 125 is probably fine. Oh yeah, whoever was asking about the multi-strike, I don't know if he's still here. You cannot multi-strike with Ancestor Cry. So like, you would never want to use it for mapping. And I forgot about that whole thing. It's not even an option, really. Iron Ring? Why is that not a Lahoop? I would actually consider using a Velro Lahoop. Uh, yeah. You can also use Enduring Cry on Jack. Wait, not Intimidating. I don't use Intimidating. I use Enduring on Jack usually. For bossing. On Slayer, I don't know what you do, honestly. I guess you just keep Ancestor Cry for armor. I never boss on Slayer, so I wouldn't know. I mean, maybe that is the correct answer. Just never boss on Slayer. Yeah, you could just drop it, true. Mm, that's not a bad rank. It's not good either, but it's not bad. Cast speed. Wait, isn't my amulet good enough for the rest of the run? Oh, it definitely is. Nah, no one claimed that bounty. No one killed a uber on a slayer. As far as I know. I don't think anyone did, at least. I mean, are we talking uh, melee attack? Because if you're talking melee attack, then the answer is blade drop. You're talking attacking with a melee weapon? I don't know. Probably steel skills, yeah. It goes to the general prize pool, yeah. It's a good system. 
Because it kind of allows for bounties that are unlikely to get claimed. And just means the winner gets more money, or not just the winner, like everyone. Everyone who was winning money from placements. Ben scammed his viewers for more money. <laughs> True. You could argue that. You could definitely argue that. It's pretty good helmet, actually. Wait, isn't my boot literally white? I'm gonna say my boots are literally white right now. Are they not? That's even worse. I'm gonna scour them. Yeah, but they have four sockets. The sockets are the important part. Also, yeah, thinking vendors will have white items now. Oh, this, 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 this. Fucking bad boots. Really bad boots, actually. Like the only stuff they actually have is the fucking anger essence that I used on them, but whatever. Be time for that soon. Why did my items de equip? And I did that actually. Do I need a strength or something? No way, right? No. Must have de equipped for a different reason. Okay, so is my only final piece the amulet? Uh, not really. Also, it's for duration. It's not just for it. Those nodes are not that bad damage. It's just like, it depends on what you have stuff to... Ten points on. I don't know. Towards end game, the way dog shit scales, like bone shatter scale, becomes so much worse because you already have so many increases and stuff. Because you don't scale with crit, you don't scale with anything. So all you have to do. Or all you can do is just scale increase damage, right? So getting more increased damage on the skill tree doesn't really do anything. It actually just pretty dog shit on complex trauma. Or not dog shit, but like it's not like super impactful the way it was on uh divergent bone cheddar. So I think endgame default nodes actually end up being pretty good damage nodes. Plus for duration is not a wasted set. And I think it has like increased forward gain too, 
if I remember correctly. Maybe not, maybe that's the other note. But I think it has increased for gain. You know who is the real psycho? Oh, Kaiser. He plays four nodes with, uh, with four gem in. Just for the extra fort. Oh, I went the wrong way. I mean, we used to, like, I mean, you guys are question marking it. Do you guys not remember when we fucking used to click every fort node no matter what on the skill tree? Even before the masteries ever fucking existed? Like why does that sound so surprising to you? Just because people stop doing it doesn't mean it's not so decent. Admittedly, 45 was a bit more OP, but the, the node scaling is technically still the same as it was before. Oh, he uses Impel now. I definitely got him, or I definitely saw him with uh, Ford Note and Ford Support at some point. As I remember being like, oh. Don't freeze me. This is bullshit. Like, you can't freeze me after I say don't freeze me. This is so bullshit. It is bullshit, I agree. I agree with myself. Can I just level everything? I'm just gonna stop level molt and chill at 9. Or I forget and accidentally over level it. That's not true at all. I'm pretty sure Impale scales linear all the way to 100. The only thing that makes it not linear is Impale effect, no? Well, even Impale effect. Like, just because you're using Imp Well, Impale gem has Impale effect, but I don't think you need to have Impale on your weapon to use Impale gem. Like, I think the percentage you gain from Impel Gem is always the same, regardless whether your weapon has Impel or not. At least close enough. You don't need to get it on the tree, though, that's what I'm saying. You don't need to play... You don't need to play 100% Impel. You just play 60%. Like, the same shit with poison chance, man. I've seen people, like, sacrifice fucking 20 points. Okay, not 20. Not literally 20. But, like, 10 points to go from, like, 90% to 100. Like, no, if you have 90%, you're just losing 10% of your damage. It's fine. You can get the damage more effic efficiently sometimes. I always say, eventually, most builds get to 100% because it's not that hard. But you don't need to be 100%. And Impel is, like, even, even a better example of that. Like, you don't need to have 100% impel chance to put in impel support. 
I thought I clicked it. What are the conclusions? I don't know. Conclusions are whatever you make of them. I mean, what do you want to know? I'm at this flask. I don't... Can I use it? No, I need a... I need granite flask, man. Please drop me, like, two extra granite flasks, man. Maybe I don't think... What if I play double life flask and I take a granite here so I can do the granite recipe? Is that trolling? How did you feel about the belt? I don't know, it's fine. I mean, it's DD of chaining. Like the second best belt after Ignite DD in the game. Or like for SSF. Fresh start. I don't think there's much else to say about that. I like Ignite a lot more though. It's literally only single target where, where DD of Chaining is better, and even there, I feel like I prefer the Ignite playstyle, even if Ignite is less damage by a lot. I don't know. The more I play Chain DD, the more I want to play Ignite DD. That's how I feel about it, I guess. It doesn't make it bad, it's still like OP as fuck, but I just find Ignite more enjoyable. Where is Dreticket? Not here. Oh, the nice part about Chindidi though is that it's new. So if you haven't played it yet, you might find it more enjoyable. Also, some people enjoy it more than Ignite. Like, Pak is a good example of this. He fucking hates Ignite DD, but he has been playing Chain DD for like two weeks straight now. Wait, I should be going to Pax chat every day and asking DD again, DD again, DD again, DD again. Oh fuck, I could I could be on the other side of the barrier and I'm not doing it. I need to start. And it was seismic again. I wish it. I wish it was seismic again, man. Can you guys come in and ask that question? No, you can't because I don't. I can't even fucking play seismic. They deleted saboteur. Can we just get sabo back, man? Is it that much to ask for sabo to be good for traps and mines? Is that really that unreasonable that a trap and mine ascendancy would be good for traps and mines? Ah, oh, pain. Seismic Champ? Nah, it just sucks. My get actually sucks. Seismic Champ is literally worse than Seismic Pathfinder in every single way. Less damage, less defense, less clear speed. There is literally no redeeming factors on Seismic Champ. Compared to Pathfinder. Le worse leak start. Worse leveling. The only reason to play Seismic Champ is if you want to play Bone Shader for 97 levels. Instead. That's like the only reason. And then like why are you respecting into seismic and not like Penance Brand or something? If we're gonna try to finish Anhar here if we can. Also need to do lab.
Do I have seven? I do. Nice. Single target is so bad. I don't know what to do about that. It's only good when I actually have all my cooldowns. Oh, those boots can their own. Um, you go there. Oh, those boots own too. They actually have sockets. Uh, I'll save this for later. I will save this for later. I will save that for later. That. Fetch a bunch of shit. Clean the inventory. Uh, I'm gonna grab the Jade Fast because I'm worried that Slayer's not tanky enough to just play no Jade. Lap time. Okay, is there any damage I need to click? I didn't check where to go. I'm just gonna go the shorter way and hope it's right. Am I missing any damage? I don't think so. Okay, we just click life nodes now, I guess. Not happy about that, but what can you do? Uh, pretty sure it's a Giga Rare. I don't think you're supposed to farm for it. I think it's supposed to be like a, you know, lucky, surprise, whatever. If you mean the, the Seer. I did not look which way to go. I should have actually checked in this zone, it actually matters. Uh, whatever. Take the shorter way, I guess? No, it's the long way, of course. We've seen him a total of zero times. I've seen him, uh, I don't know, like three times or so. Not a lot. He did give me taste of eight though. When I needed a taste of eight, that was kind of nice on the Pathfinder CA. So we are kind of homies now. Nick Bog, yeah, literally me. Right there. Like, Gildy got a day for Mage Blood from it. What the? Come on! Speed up. You're faced. Such resilience. Hardcore trade. I'm probably playing hardcore trade next week. We'll see. Not like 100% sure about it yet, but... I think I'm playing hardcore trade next week. I feel like trade is so much easier to make content for. Especially build-related content. Whenever you make an SSL build, there's just too many things like, Oh, you could do this, you could do that, if you had access to it. And it's just like annoying.
I just clicked that link out of curiosity. That shit is kinda impressive, what the fuck? I can't really show it on my main monitor right now. Uh, do, 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 do. where's my bone shader there? Oh. There's no quality! Fated myself, unlucky. Okay, now we are a real build, right? I don't even know what the Descendancy note actually gives. Anyone knows what the Ascendancy note I just clicked gives? I think it gives damage. Sometimes. I think that's literally what it says. Give damage sometimes. Thirty percent more against Yuning, that's kinda good. Wait, is it only unique? No rare? No way, right? Certainly not. I'll check when I get to Arakale. No rare? Holy shit, Slayer sucks. They need to buff Slayer, man. In person more if you killed recently. That's gonna be up most of the time. I think we are ready to level Bone Cheater. A little bit. Is it Jama? I feel like Karn would agree that they could buff Slayer. I don't think he would be against that. That not actually not bad. I just don't know why it's uh, unique only. That's kind of weird. Oh my! Fuck off. Pop my totem. Just, you lucky I didn't pop my banner. What's the time? 2.32. Anyone wants to check what the time was yesterday by any chance? At this point, it should be easy to check. Well, actually, I can check myself. Never mind. I can just open the YouTube video. Do I need here? Oh, well done, Gotta be careful. 
Oh, that sucks. 225 yesterday. Close enough. Honestly. Honestly, just close enough. You know, if I do these like 340, 335, Kitavas, whatever, if, like proper level, no practice, I'm kinda down. Ooh, Granite Fast, that's actually huge. It's gonna be huge for crafting the Azomite Axe. Hopefully, we just high roll the fuck out of the Azomite Axe. I think I'm doing Azomite, I'm not 100% sure, but. I think Azomites to play in low gear. Also, the clear is getting good now. You're free. See, this would have been like perfect if it was a Despot Axe are like a good base because I could just do the granite recipe and then regal it since I actually got a regal Like getting a regal in this run is so huge But not on that base not good enough settler Could actually use that Lubris. If it has open prefix. That was fucking DD. I did not see the DD until it was basically too late. I like know this last second. Uh, it does have an open prefix. That could be my weapon, technically. Do I wanna use alterations to craft it though? That's the question. Wait, is it al no, it's two alchemies, I think, to no. No, I think it's eight alterations. I don't remember. I think it's eight alterations for the fist craft. Okay, it's two alchemies for flat. And eight alterations for percent fist. Is that worth it right now? I probably have like 30 outs in total. That kinda does sound worth it. I'm gonna be so over leveled because I'm actually killing so much, but that's just bone shitter being good at killing stuff. I don't mind that. Being over leveled here is probably good. Uh this is probably worth it. Losing fire res, is that a problem? No, it's not a problem at all. Okay, uh, I will do the craft. The question is, do I want to chrome it too? That's the one thing I'm unsure about, if I want to chrome it. Do I have any extra red gem that does nothing right now? Um, don't think I do. Mame, I guess. But Mame is like, it's not bad. It's just not mandatory. The protector is like what I would have to drop, I guess, unless I waste chromes. 
They don't want to waste. Um, is there like the decisions that are kind of weird when you run Angry Divine or? Or so get it. I definitely don't want to use Jewelers. Did I get a Divine yesterday as well? Or was it just Exalt? No, I got two Divines from the Fortunate cards, right? That's what it was. Yesterday. When Minion Belt. I did not currently have a Minion Belt planned. And I'm not really that interested in playing minions either necessarily. It's just like I don't, I don't know. I don't really like minions too much. I might do a bummer run just to see how it looks on fresh start, but that's about it. We need to make room for Chrome or for the Sun Orb. Um, what level is my bone shitter? Yeah, I did not catch it. Whatever. Catch it later. Next level up, surely. There's a monolith called Mad Plats in Last Epoch. I would avoid that at all costs. That sounds bad. I can't tell if I took damage from my own stuff or not. Craft percent fizz, move the maim here, drop this there, there. Okay. We are doing good now. Uh, three levels or three points. I guess we just go so steal now. I don't know if there's anything I forgot to click. I have like a bad feeling that there was, but maybe it's just bad feeling that's not actually real. And if you ignore it, it will go away.
Uh, there, there. Did you get so much resist on this skill tree, actually? Now that I think about it. Because I'm grabbing Vetted Hunter later as well, right? So you actually get so much. Wait, what am I getting? 16... 26... Plus Alira, 41, plus Vetted Hunter. I think it's like 60 Ulrus or something. Pretty good. Allow your wisdom to be tempered by the flames of the past. Need to leave a portal somewhere. I also need to respec my axe master eh, to be corpse destruction. I don't know, you need so many sockets to switch, that's the main problem, or it's gonna be the main limiting factor for me. You kinda don't need accuracy on gear, but you need blood magic precision, and ideally high level, high level of both. Well actually, like high level of uh, precision, I should start leveling it soon. I will level it later. In my oven or something. Without Blood Magic Precision, it's actually really hard to swap. I can't do this just yet. I keep misclicking, holy shit, I'm tilt. You mean arrogance? What did I say? Blood Magic? Same thing. Literally the same thing. I wanna get like a 6 socket weapon or body armor. I don't know if I will be able to, but... It would be super impactful. Give me my skill point. I'm gonna go level precision. Just to have it for later. Um, it's okay. Double rest strength. Acceptable. Act one, precision. Precision. I don't know why I'm killing this guy, I'm too committed now. He didn't even drop anything, that was such a waste of time. I hate block mobs, man. Why do block mobs even exist? Is it just a fuck Karn? Is that why they added them? I literally added mobs to fuck with Karn.
58. That probably means we don't have to farm BA. It's an attack mastery, but you don't really have a choice to take that. Because you have to take the additional strike. It didn't click! Get the rip. Do 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 do. I leveled my bone cheddar again. I need to be careful with how much I level it on a slow. It's at level. I even fell. Dude, this is gonna be a dead end. I already know. No, man. Why do I always get baited into fucking longest dead ends ever? All these rares remain at like 20% HP or whatever. No wonder you get no gear when you skip every rare. Still sub free BA, but man, I... okay. How do I improve at campaign without running too much campaign? <laughs> Any tips? I mean, I could plan stuff better, and I could make a better filter, I guess. Wait. I want my campaign time to be better, but I don't want to spam campaign runs. I guess this is a problem every PoE player faces, eh? Complain on Reddit? Wait, that might actually work. Move to Texas? That would work, that's true. That's like minus three minutes right there, minimum. Heard about new drama and snitching? Yeah. What about it? Imagine Tyler being late to drama, man. Tyler wasn't late, he has been trading it on Discord. Oh. Listen, I wasn't even the drama queen this time. Gucci was the one who started bringing it into into like public chats. Like we want to talk about drama queens this time around. I mean, I mean, it's like it should be public. It is what it is. At least I think it should be public. How do you kill rares on Bone Cheddar? And don't say the answer is you don't. Berserk helps with that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I'm sure we're gonna get more drama before the new league starts, don't worry. I mean, listen, the rule hasn't even switched to PoE yet. Could have wait for Ru to switch to PoE, some people release a leak start build, you know, and we, we good, we back in business. Uh, sell everything, that's probably worth keeping. Do you have a weapon that's good? What am I even looking for? Azomite Axe? Not there yet. Uh, I'm gonna do 10. Level 10 Bone Shader for now and then stop leveling it. And once I go Valpike, I will go 14. More six sockets, nice. I need a six socket that's like red. Is that a, too much to ask for? Maybe red green is good enough too. Am I not sixty? Oh no. I'm I should loot that. Don't be lazy about it. Gonna have like no Chaos Rest. I mean, do you even need Chaos Rest on Slayer? I feel like when you have Leech, Chaos Rest is like not even necessary. Slayer's too OP. Ah, oh, da da. I wonder if I have 4 Chaos Orbs, I probably don't yet. I used some if I remember correctly. That's a lot of gems. What's that? I can't level precision. Why not enough decks? Ah, oh, pain. Oops, wrong way.
did it. They found me. We do have June. Unveil on them. See you unveil. Or in Chaos Res. Maybe I should have taken Cold in Chaos Res. Doesn't really matter. Uh, do you have an Ezomite X for me? That's not an Ezomite. It kind of looked like one. But it's not an Ezomite. Who is that? Guys, actually playing. SSFSC Affliction, four months into the league, 40 months into the league. I don't even know how many months it is. It's been a while. It's been a while since this league started. Can't wait to be poor again, bro. I don't know, fresh stars are always fun. Like fresh economies. Five days from three months. That's not even that long yet. Not doing affliction, do you feel poor? My loot from Mavs is two Alks, two Chisels and Essences. Yeah, that's how the game is. That's how the game is supposed to be. I suppose it's a strong word. I mean, it makes sense though, no? If you can sustain chisels, what is the point of chisels existing? So you should get less than two per map, uh, less than four per map. Like to me, that makes sense. Because if you get more than four per map, they might as well not exist. Specifically chisels, that is. Not talking about not getting added currencies in maps, but. Yeah, I mean, the point being, like, if you can just sustain chisels no matter what, then you're better off just not having chisels in your game, in my opinion. And, like, yeah, once you start juicing, you can sustain chisels without issues, but should it be that way? I don't know. How about my chisels not existing? I think most people would be down for a compromise. Like, give us, like, 12 quant extra and remove chisels and most people would probably be okay with that. Oh, that's a really good amulet, holy shit. That amulet's fucking insane. <laughs> I just like read the je read the read the stuff on it. I think it is like accuracy, dexterity, uh it's a turquoise and it has life. And I think it has a resist too. I don't know. I don't know what the amulet has, but it's good. There's a reason I equipped it without, without knowing what it had. Flat fist. I don't think the flat fist actually matters on Bone Shatter. I'm gonna be real, but... I mean, I guess it cannot hurt, you know?
it's funny because I thought I'm not switching my amulet, but this one is like, <laughs> holy shit, it's so insane. I need to take that craft. Just remembered yesterday I gave myself a reminder to not forget that craft. I'm gonna go right side. I think right side might be faster here. Maybe it's like the same distance. Not sure. Of course the one time I go right side there's a corrupted zone. Actually I don't think that affects anything. Typing for when you forget, thanks for the reminder. Maybe able will whip that amulet to actually go precise technique. Without uh, precision, that is. Also, no, I have an update certainty. No. If a Valix is insane, I would probably use it. Like an insane Valix is good enough to use. Like that one. I think that counts. Kinda. It's not insane, but it's good. Need one more Chaos Orb. Or that craft. <clears throat> I think it's good enough to use for the rest of the run. Even if the attack speed is a bit lower. That means I want to rebuff the start though. Oh, I forgot I was clicking. Oh no, I'm on the missing one. Never mind. Yeah, that's the idea. The problem with that idea is I'm missing one chaos for the big craft. So I'm trying to get it first. If I can get the one chaos before I hit 64, I stay with Gower. Otherwise, I will just uh, have to use. Power later to recraft better roll. Because I'm at 3C and I need 4 for the craft. Also, I forgot to change Pantheon again. Third boot stature. No, we don't do affliction in these runs. We do not do affliction in these runs at all.
Man Slayer getting uh, Mana Leech for free is so nice. Also, the fucking Slayer attack range is nice too. I forgot this boss on Mela is like an Uber. Uber down. Dude, that boss in Gauntlet as Mela is just... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, it, why it's like that. I mean, I do know, but it's just... It's just really, really bad. How do I check how much accuracy do I have? I have... 1800. Yeah, I can easily get enough for PT. You mean for bossing or for what? So it's not like you have to maintain lead while mapping. It just gets maintained for free. 1800 with a precision. Yeah, I have Warbanner, I'm Slayer, and I, my amulet has giga accuracy. Oh, this Labrys is gonna be insane. It's not. No, I wasted my totem, man. I'm bad. I should have realized she was gonna leave. There's like no way I can ever kill that in time. Kind of wanna loot here again. My loot's, uh, my gear's not like insane. Not much there, there. I wanna hit 64 without doing single target ideally, but I don't think I can. It's fine. Resist check. Oh, I'm really good on res, except chaos. Oh, I already killed the thing. I was like waiting for it to spawn. I was on a. Just checking my resist. Uh, aware. Okay, so gloves I'm keeping. I'm just crafting life on my gloves. I don't think I'm swapping. I mean, I could honestly because I got the decks. So I could actually swap my gloves still. You mean to TP there? Boots, I'm pretty sure, are like really bad, the boots I'm wearing. Weapon, I'm swapping, we already went over that. Helmet... I should swap. For the armor, I should swap. Fine. 
5 socket as on my dark side. If this is insane, we won. It's not. Pretty sure we just committing to that Valax. It's good enough to not have to worry about anything. I have no idea what my rings are. Oh. I see what they are. I see what they are. Well, at least one of them is. Uh, quartz. Of course there is no amethyst. Why would there be an amethyst on the vendor? I love some blue amethyst on the ground. I definitely should have picked them up. I'm gonna try for a letter belt from uh, Reliquary, maybe. And if I miss, I think I'm committing to this belt for the rest of the run. Clear dread get act two. I mean, one, why are you even full clear in dread ticket? <laughs> two, why are you in there in act two? I was looking for the den. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay, that's fair. Uh, grab. I'm grabbing some currency. I'm gonna try to fix my gear real quick. Oh my god, that's my ring. Craft life there eventually. Um, for the armor, I mean, this one's like acceptable. Can I get a better one? Probably not. Um, boots. I think we just use these, right? Nice. That wasn't even that bad. Craft life there, can craft presses there, can craft presses there. And then we click uh, Vetted Hunter for the rest. Hmm. 
And I need new gloves there. Whatever. Uh, do 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 do. Let's live. Full dress. Hmm. Oh yeah, white is way better. That is uh, the reason we complain so much about it. What can we do for you? Uh, alchemy, where's alchemy? There. See you. And I just grab fire ass on that rank. And I think we can craft this damage here. And just recraft that later. I can't do this just yet. I think this resist is perfect. Once I go better at Hunter, so this might be my end game gear. Because I will be dropping some fire rest, right? So I'm gonna be playing minus 40 chaos, but what can you do? What's my uh, accuracy? 2.2k. Yeah, we can just play with no precision easily. Like, very, very easily. I mean, I could just go PT right now, I'm pretty sure. I could just go PT before lab. And then I just need alchemies to grab some life on my gear. You can craft life on rink. And gloves, technically. Yes, that's what Weather Hunter is. It's the accuracy resist on uh, Duelist. Right side of Duelist between the Ranger. So how much accuracy do we have now? 3k. Can grab the master too later. This should be fine enough accuracy for long enough that I don't think I need to care. There's like some small accuracy note I could take in Duelist too, worst case scenario if I need more. Sockets? I haven't fixed sockets yet. I will fix them in a bit. The fact that I don't need precision is so OP for this, though. For my socket pressure. Next level is probably three times my actual damage, no meme. Because I'm getting precise technique and I'm getting a new, new stick. Oh my god, <laughs> that was a ruthless hit for sure. <laughs> Trying laugh for complex? No. Uh, the way I did do C rounds, I just mule. I just mule uh, the gems before I start the run. Yes, I don't want to fucking spend half the run farming in lab. Oh, I can recrap my weapon too. Nice. It's not like it's some official speed run, you know. You want to count it as cheating? 
I mean, I don't care. You can complain, but it's not gonna achieve anything. It just makes it so you can actually compare the skills too. Because otherwise all you're comparing is how lucky you got in lab. Or like at Valing and stuff, I don't know. I just don't care enough, I think, to like... Farm lab in every run. Wouldn't be a first time PoE player cheats. Oh shit, we leveled nice. I did not click my PT though. Oops. Yeah, I mean, un being unlucky with maps sucks, but it doesn't matter as much in these runs. When it's level 90 run, that's why I do level 90 runs. If we moved? Yeah, of course it moved. I'm a slayer. Oh, fuck. Okay, um... And then this one. Oh, nice. That's good. You can just migrate all in SSF and it resets your atlas, what do you mean? SSF privilege. No, I have a... Okay, the way I do it is I have a softcore private league, softcore SSF private league. I farm all the gems there. And when I want to start a new run, I migrate my SSF Affliction. I migrate only a character in there with the gem in its inventory. And then I start the run. And it's very enjoyable. It's very enjoyable to do it this way. I wouldn't change it. I mean, complex drama is just better in every single way. For any content you should ever do on Bone Cheddar. Except like Deep Delve, right? Because you should never boss on Bone Cheddar. And that's the only time you could argue for normal Bone Cheddar over complex drama. So like any content you should be doing on Bone Cheddar. shouldn't be playing uh you know and even on ubers i don't know if you actually ran like ramp high enough i mean maybe if you play tainted pack you do and like on a jack if you're just face thinking everything but at that point you might as well play what whatever the fuck what squint playing that skill I don't even know what it's called. Double strike, dual strike, one or the other. You know, one of them was played by Quinn, one of them was played by Alk. I don't remember which one is which. 
And both of them actually killed Ubers on it, so, I mean, must be OP. Like we did it with a duel, then Quinn did it with double strike, well, and bone shatter, I guess. I think he did, yeah. Pretty sure he did. Someone told me he did and I didn't question it. Because we never question out Kaiser. I need a bunch of chromes. I hope I have enough. I hope I have enough chromes. An aspirant can afford to be promised to you. An arcan road is the most devious trap of the world. Like your fidelity, you are free. Player, bam, bam. Uh, sell everything here. Can we grab that? Everything else is good. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Okay. Color wise. I need a multi totem support. I need a warlord's mark. Can I use that? Craft fire and lightning. It kinda works. Do I have a bless orb? I do. You might be able to craft just lightning. Um fuck. Um I really need different gloves. Okay, that works. It's not pretty, but it works. Okay, we try to forlink this now. Easy. 
Warlord. Life tap. Close combat in case I get a five link. Um This is just Berserk, I guess. Okay. I think that went pretty decently. Two point four K HP. Um I'm missing a lot of life crafts now. I mean the gloves won't have life. But I'm missing life craft there and there. It's like hundred more life, flat life. And I'm missing some uh some other stuff too. Did I ever equip pride? I did not. We are missing one extra socket. What is that socket? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I can't really drop multi totem. I mean, I could for now, but. That's weird. Because I don't think it was missing a socket in POV. Maybe I skip something in POV. Don't think you had Berserk in POV? I thought I did. Oh, you're right. I might have not have it. I think you're right. I did have two left up, Sam. So. But I think it's the Berserk thing. That's fine. We can just drop multi totem. You don't actually need it. Just never use normal war chief, only use Val war chief. I shall strike you down. I mean, business has dropped like 16 sockets when he was in Gauntlet bossing on Bone Shader in Uber, so... You can always drop stuff. You just choose not to. Level 65. Time is kinda shit, but level 65, gearing done. I mean, I will take it.
It's like the same time as yesterday, honestly. On a build that I'm less comfortable with, I can't really complain too much. Accuracy check. 2.8k. The accuracy might become a problem eventually. I mean, there is ways to get more though. I just need to be a little careful with it. Uh, maps. Okay, that's fine. What did my glacier? Oh yeah, I wanted to be taking breaks when I get to Kitawa. I think I will run this map and uh, take like a short break, get food at least. Nah, honestly, fuck food. We don't need food. I just play the game. Did I ever click Valpact? Probably didn't. No, I didn't yet. I'm not using a tabula, am I? I feel like it would create more problems than... I mean, what I could do is use a life tap in there. Technically. I don't really want to use a tabula. I mean, my rest is so good for it though. I don't need granite anymore, no. My weapon is good enough. Worm small, big legion slayer. You don't need worm small. It doesn't actually increase your leech. No, am I am I misremembering what worm small does? Or are you misunderstanding on what it does? Maybe I am misremembering actually. I always meme on that bell without actually properly reading it, but I'm pretty sure it's still shit. Leech is pretty funny in PoE. Pretty hard to understand, so you can't really blame people for not understanding it properly. I mean, it basically does nothing. It doesn't make you leech for more, and it doesn't make it last longer. All it means is that if you are ZDPS, you can get the leech, but... Like, if you are ZDPS, like, you have other problems. It 
It's more for non like mela builds to try to get leech, if anything. Or like I don't know. I don't even know what builds would use it. People used Worm Small with like the fucking cooked flask deck before, I, that's what I saw. That I remember. Got mana leech, that's interesting, I could believe that. I don't know how good mana leech is. I don't think the fast stuff is good, personal one. But I've seen it before. Dude, this ritual is taking forever! This better be worth it, dude. 15 chance orbs, 15 alchemies. This is the worst ritual I've ever seen in my life. One scar rank. He lost. Bought it last second. Level 12, I need 14 at least. What am I missing? Am I missing anything important? Missing alchemy to craft life, but I cannot craft life because I don't have enough accuracy to craft life. Could have taken the six socket, I don't need it. I think I'm gonna equip the tabula. My body armor doesn't actually do anything for me. Tabula's more life too. Is that a noise? No idea. Not my filter. No, not really. Um, I need that on Mela of all things, I'm gonna use a tabula. It's no time to get a good chest. Yeah, I know. I'm aware of the Archer's Mastery. I'm aware, don't worry. I consider not using the tabula, but I feel like when you don't use, when you get good RNG, the runs become so boring. And I don't even think tabula is that imp I mean, okay, it is probably pretty impactful in this run, since it didn't take me much to, to fit it in, but still. I'm gonna grab this so I know how much accuracy I have. Oh, 3.7k, okay, that gives a lot. I mean, it's gonna go down a little bit, but... There's like one small accuracy node I can grab. And I'm gonna not grab that much life from now on. Anyways. Hey, Sperma stunned. Stop being stunned. Thank you.
dying to something, no idea to what. And Ritual actually does so much. Well, I mean, I say it does so much damage. It probably doesn't. I just have no HP. It's a lot of chance orbs. But of Alchemy is nice. That's really good. Uh, where's Port? There. I love the fact that Slayer can just fucking run an ID maps, man. Am I not running Brutality? I don't even know what my gems are right now. Oh, no, I think it is Brutality. Isn't Brutality small U? I think it is. I mean, I'm sure you technically could. I mean, you could do just like strength stacking grid or some meme. Maybe we're like original sin. But like, why is your goal to use bone shitter there? Like, it's literally the exact opposite of what you would want to do to play bone shitter. Like, bone shitter is supposed to be a ramping skill, right? Like, it's literally made to be ramping skill. Is Malefice better? Not better than. Ah, there's no way I can use Malefice. Or there, there's no way I can drop life tap, I should say. I could justify Malefice over something else, maybe, but there's no way I can use drop life tap right now. Yeah, I need it for mana for sure. I mean, this character was not planned to have a tabula, you know? It's just a last minute adjustment. Wrong order there on the items. I need to loot some uniques to get alchemies. Oh my fucking god, I don't even know what that was, but it hurt. It's probably the poison. Looks like the chaos stress you didn't need. I mean, I have like 30. Minus for them, you know. Definitely not an ideal situation to be in. I mean, I feel like this must be clearing the maps faster than DD is. Surely, right? Than DD of chaining right now. Like, my weapon is decent. I fucking Harold my ass to Tabula. If this, lose to, if this loses to DD of chaining, then Bone Chatter just fucking lost. There's no way to win then. Also, I didn't get good map RNG yesterday, so... This should be a faster run than the DD run. If it's not, then I don't wanna hear anyone ever say Bone is better than DD again. Not even Karn.
probably feel slower in res. I don't know. This is the one, like, these are the very few, like, these speedruns, I don't know why that sentence was so hard to start. These speedruns are the very, like, rare cases where Tabula can actually make a difference, maybe. And, like, actually feel impactful. Yeah, we're just spawning here, right? What the fuck? This mechanic's so weird. Should have probably taken the regal. I think you can get off her ranks, actually. Not 100% sure. I think you can. I mean, I do ritual because you need to get alchemies and like chancellors from somewhere. And ritual is like the best source of them, honestly. Need that. Um. Yeah, maybe I should be looting six sockets. You you might be right on that one. At least sometimes I probably should be. Good. Hello. I know. That was the DD time. Uh, I don't remember the exact time. I posted it on the VODs YouTube though. But I think it was like 6.55 or something. Slightly below 7. So what's up, play game? I was like very, very slightly below seven hours. Pretty sure Ignite DD beats that every time. I do think this Bone Shatter run will beat it too, because I have a decent weapon and a tabula. I would be kinda disappointed if I didn't beat it on this run. I would probably lose all the hope into any other build if uh, this Bone Shader can't beat the DD. Because at that point it probably means only DD can beat DD. Because DD of Chaining doesn't... I mean, it's it's good, it's a lot of damage, but it doesn't feel that fast. Oh, I need to not level my Bone Shader too much. Did I already overlevel it? I already overleveled it. Uh Are we inviting him? Yeah, you can just invite Lagi. I didn't even know he wasn't in the guild discord. Listen, we have one extra slot now, Lamar. <laughs> uh, <whatever. laughs> I don't know why that shit's so funny to me. <laughs> I'm such a child when it comes to drama.
Did I hit 70? I think I hit 70 before 4 hours. Not sure. I did, that's a nice threshold to hit. My chance orbs. Do I have Kirak missions? Please tell me I have Kirak missions. Okay, I can't play it on this filter. This fucking make a sound when you get a rare as on my decks. Stop! Stop making sounds. Options, game, uh, never saying strict, sure, save. Uh, Dark Forest. I do all of them. I don't need to change my weapon. You need to realize at some point in these runs, you have to be like, okay, I don't need to upgrade my gear. It's good enough. And I've reached that point about half an hour ago. Items I would equip right now are Belt of the Deceiver. The Rampage Axe, whatever that one is called. And... Uh, I don't know what else. That might Those might be the only two items I would equip. Maybe... Rampage Gloves, but I don't think I can fit the resist. Death Rush. Ooh, I would try to equip a Death Rush, but I think it would be too annoying to fit. I think if I go to Death Rush right now, I would fit it in, but if I, if I get it in like two hours, I wouldn't bother. Like if it's early Death Rush, then yeah. Okay, we definitely have more damage than DD did in tier 6 maps, I can tell you that much. But I'm pretty sure that would be true even without the tabula. Um, Kirak mission. Sure. Kirak mission there. Fested Valley. How many do we need? We need a lot. Okay, we need a lot. We need to go to town afterwards. And convert a lot of stuff. I am very scared of these chaos guys. I would have been a nice clip if I, if I just exploded there. Wow pyramid. 3 plus 1. This is looking good on completion already. I should stop leveling multi totems. Come on, hit me up. Molten Shell Goats. Where is the Molten Shell Goats? Dude, I'm ready. I wanna get MPM'd. Dude, none of them spawn. This is bullshit. They nerfed this. Man, you know what's the worst part? I'm afraid that this time is gonna be good. And then Karn is gonna be like, See, I told you Bone Zone is better than DD. Do we have to sabotage on purpose? Do we have to deal with that? Oh no. I didn't think of that. <laughs> the man have his fun. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm having fun playing right now, but, uh, you know, um, and it's like maybe thinking about slightly, slightly throwing towards the later levels. Just slightly. Man, the running on ID maps is OP. Especially in like these SC runs where you don't really care whether the map has an extra damage mode or two. And I guess it's still a hardcore run. Maybe I should not... Hey, I mean, what's the worst thing that can appear on a fucking white map? But, uh, there's not even anything that can be that bad. I have a bad feeling that this run is going to be insane. And I wish I didn't fucking mess up my story so much. I mean, mess up is a strong word, but I wish I was better at the story. Clicking Ember. I think my gloves have auras in them. So I don't really want to do it. I was thinking about it, but... Oh! You know what I could do, though? I could equip Ancestral Call, maybe. I don't think Slayer needs Ancestral Call, though. You have so much AoE that I don't even think you need it. Sorry, yeah, Ancestor Call, yeah. Or is in Helmet? What's in Gloves? Is there something that's gonna mess up my bars? I think, okay, I'm gonna say it on record. I think playing Ancestor Call is probably correct, but... I like having big damn. Actually, I don't think it is, because rares matter too much. I would, okay. There is some like really bad implicits that can happen on gloves, like damage conversion and stuff. I don't remember if they are blue or red, but... Conversion's blue. There might not be anything like too bad that's... that's uh... That's red. I need to play on a different filter. I need to loot some portals. I'm gonna stop leveling this bone cheater for a little bit. Then I will level more later. Now stop looting that. Only loot portals, wisdoms, transmutes, like all this, all this like garbage stuff. No chromes, no jewelers. Fusings are fine. Chain orbs are fine. Chaos orbs are always still good. I think when I pop Berserk, I should just try to run the boss room instead of clearing. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. I could use some more attack speed right now. Which is free, yeah, but the idea is like what I what I was saying is to use the rage to leap slam, not to attack. It's not like oh I need to save it for the boss. That wasn't the implication there.
Maybe just quick suppression. Is that what we're going for next? I think so. Accuracy check. 3.7. I need to be very careful with how much life I gain. I'm gonna do a little bit of betrayal invite mobs, but probably not too much. Because I don't want the safe house to actually spawn load here. Do you guys think Slayer dies to Tora with minus 30 chaos res? I actually don't know what the answer to that question is, honestly. What? Uh, suppression. Hi. Did I level my bone shooter again without wanting to? I probably did. No, oh, don't care about any of that. I think the most interesting part of these runs is it makes you realize how much time you spend like looting and looking at gear. Twin boss, double damage, true. Because turns out like when you're not looking at the gear, you know, stuff is kind of fast. Oops. Maybe I should have... Uh, the, I clicked both of, both of those ones that I... Oh! I thought I clicked it. Uh, I was so sure I clicked it, I started attacking. Right? First row. What do you mean? This is literally a transpicker gem. Nah, the, the problem was like I started attacking. I didn't realize uh, you don't start leeching right when there's a divine shrine. But uh, I don't know. You don't stun. You don't start. You don't leech. Nothing. I just thought I already clicked the shrine. Skill issue. As usual, most rips are. What is that? Gardens, don't need gardens. Uh, I'm just annoyed because it was deathless. Like, it doesn't, like, actually matter that much, but... I was trying to go for Deathless Run, at least still, like, either Exarc or something. Whatever. Some random indecision run? I don't know. I don't really know what I plan on playing, honestly. 
Do my channel are classic? Yeah, they are. I have the schedule for this week on Twitter. After that, who knows? I haven't really thought about it yet. Where the fuck is the last mob out there? Astorans don't need that. I mean, a quick sellout. If you wanna influence what's being run, like which runs are being done, you can head to Patreon. You know, you can influence it there. Otherwise, I don't have plans. If I had plans, I would tell you what I'm planning to run, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, that's ritual number two. There's probably one in boss room, so I need to look for one more. One more. I have no idea where the last one would be down here. Okay. I don't know if these... <sighs> I feel like rituals have to be worth it, man. They just have to be. The early currents is too important. Would I switch to a five link right now if I go to five link like Astro Blight? Probably. I don't care about any of that, I can just go kill the boss. Yeah, it's just bubble concurrences, stuff like chancers, fusings, alchemies, all that matters so much in these runs. Do I have anything in my inventory that I haven't run yet? It's only the Caldera, I think. Is it only the Caldera? I think the Siege I haven't run either. I don't think it gives Uber at fragments early, but it might. But, I mean, that's obviously not what I'm farming it for. What's my bonus? 23 already. Holy shit, I'm blasting the bonus, that's huge. 23 bonus at 420. Pretty sure that's faster than yesterday. Estuary, login, I need that. Just that's... Fifty-six percent. A Davila on a cake and mouse. It's one of those things where like your body armor is so bad that you just equip it. You know? Like my body armor had like cold dress, I look at it, it's just like, uh, I don't need a cold dress. And then just equip the tabula. I mean, it's like five and a half links, right? Kinda, because you have to use life tab. I was just complaining about the fact that this run is gonna be faster than the DD and you're gonna be like, oh, look, it's better than DD because my weapon is pretty good and a tabula and like fucking white maps. And map RNG so far has been decent in the last like 30 minutes. At least my campaign was shit, so that makes up for it. Nah, but it wasn't that much slower than the campaign yesterday, so... It was like 5 minutes slower or something. I don't know, I suck at campaign, turns out. Turns out when you don't practice campaign, you don't get better at it. Some bullshit.
I don't know how much I enjoy playing Unascended till Act 5 or Act 6 even. I feel like next time I just want to play Sundra. I don't know. It's like time wise, it probably doesn't make a difference. They're all like within 10 minutes of each other, I'm sure. It's just I didn't feel like it was fun to level with Felix. I mean, I wanted to level with Spectral Troll and then. Uh, there was some incident with uh, colors that I had to switch to Helix. I think I did like a red, red, green, if I remember correctly. And I'm like, okay, you can't really play Spectral Troll with that. So I just went Helix to Act 6. It's like, okay. I don't know. My Kita was like, what, 140 or something? Do you guys remember? It wasn't like awful, but it just felt like shit. I mean, it's a classic Helix thing. Helix always felt like shit, even when it. Well, okay, when it was like OP OP, it didn't feel like shit, but. Like, it always feels worse than it actually is, just because it's fucking Helix. I think the one time I'd really molded about Helix though was the Twilight Strand. A full clearing a zone on Helix is just pain. I think I'm done with rituals. I think I have enough chance orbs. Is the last one you do on Helix? Yeah, pretty much. I think I went to prison. And then, uh... Twilight Strand, and then I switched. I think I had to go to prison because I needed a level or something. I don't remember what it was. Otherwise, I would have probably switched before. I had some reasoning. Person face good for John Spine? Nah, not really. Like you could spam essence like contempt essences till you hit plus two, but it's not like an amazing fracture in my opinion. I think it's like pretty bad actually. It doesn't really help you craft it much. It's good if you don't care about the plus two arrows though. Like, if you are going for a non plus two arrow bow, then it's really good. Because then you just spam contempt till you hit hybrid and then you fix your suffixes, right? So then it's good. Yeah, I have a question, Karn. What do you think of this totem setup? Like, you just don't run multi totem. You basically don't have normal war chief, you only have protector and uh, wild war chief. I think it's actually good. I didn't have this <laughs> didn't have the sockets to fit it in and that's what I landed on and it seems pretty good. I mean obviously I have like overkill damage right now, but that's not really the point. And this whole unid shit that ignite dd and bone shatter can do is so op i swear oh my god i almost died wonder why uh do 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 that one To do. I don't even know if it's worth to go for 100 this early. Can you jump here? Stop thundering and jump. Okay, you got stunned, unlucky. You got stunned too, GG. Uh, Kirak mission, bam, bam, uh, Chato, sure. I'd buy my reading those map modes. There's not a single map mode I actually care about. I don't know if I can clear cannot leech map. I'm not even running Cortex too long. I probably cannot clear cannot leech. Ah, uh, probably. 
I mean, I feel like I could clear cannot... Uh, if I had some life on kill or something, I feel like I could. Oh, I misunderstood the layout. Fuck. Nothing against the Slayer. Wasn't that back when it was Helix though or something? I feel like it's a bit different when you hit yourself. Now nah, it was Slams, yeah. I feel like it's a bit different when you... I think I need to stop ID... Oh my god, I think I need to start IDing though. And at least would be annoying. It's a bit different if you aren't hitting yourself. Also, I stopped my bone shooter at the wrong level. I should just level it to 17. Pretty sure 17 is gonna be fine to survive. What's my armor? Ah, it's pretty low actually, but... 16 is threshold? I thought it was 14, 17. Maybe I'm misremembering. If it's 16, then I'm just gonna click it once. Yeah, there's no way I go to 19, though. Not in this run. Characters do scab. Also, don't think I need it. I think if I wasn't using life tap, I wouldn't even unspec the ball pack. But... Eh. Sorry, yeah, if I d wasn't using life tap, I think you can just keep ball pack, but it would be too annoying this way. Why is it so long? I should do Uber Lab as soon as possible, right? It's probably worth it. I think you can just play... Can you leech of these, by the way? I don't even know. No? Oh, that's kind of annoying. I don't know if I want to play Wild Pike then. I'm probably not playing Wild Pike for Lab. Up is fine. I think there's enough mobs that it doesn't matter. Okay, we just click Valpact and then if it doesn't work, we blame Karn. Easy. I'm down. I mean, just don't activate Blood Rage in lab. If you know it's a shit room. What's the Uber Lab layout today? Doesn't seem too bad. Doesn't seem too bad. Just checking where Dark Shrines are. The fucking Golden Room. Oh, this is one of those, like, you have to run down, I remember. Did you get so punished on Slayer? When you are slow? Fucking bullshit, man. Game stops it. That's why don't be slow. Yeah. I mean, run like this is like perfect for it. Because you don't need to loot.
This is a bathroom. I need to get some leech before the end. Hmm. Hopefully there is some mobs to hit. You know what would be cool? Getting a lab map chest in one of these runs. Pretty sure that shit is OP if you get it while you already have 100% wandering. Because that just catapults you to reds. Okay, uh, Atlas Passive, we have 84 right now. And this is where multi-totem is kind of bad not having, but what can you do? Wonder if I should be swapping to poachers. And we are fine damage-wise. Lab stream? It's not a lab stream, I'm just ascending. Hopefully just ascending. Dude, there's a lot of rooms in this lab. I didn't realize it was one extra room in like Ever's fucking zone. Can you help me out? I have Divine and two gen and I don't have artifacts. Dude, the worst part? about artifacts is that it's like actually insane to farm though like i don't know dude when you are like hard stack on one artifact on expedition i mean i i usually try to like you know convert rock if i can if i cannot convert rock then you just have to grind it out there's nothing you can do <laughs> like what is there that you can do nothing right there's no way you roll over divine well i mean i guess there is Mm, you could roll over a divine. If you like need the other currency, I feel like you could just justify rolling over a divine. In trade league, you probably don't because you can just buy a logbook, right? A but uh, in SSF, yeah. Fuck, let's go. Wrong room. I feel like in SSF, if a 2-gen offers you a divine, maybe this league you could skip over it. If you have like a magic find ready character or sanctum ready character, but like otherwise I feel like you just have to grind it out. Really care for spending exceptional on rock, yeah. That's fair. I think the problem only really happens a lot when it's like league star, because then you really want to reroll the 2-gen, right? But you feel like you can't. Like later on in the league, like even like day 3, like who cares? Like Either you roll over it or you just save it because you don't need like the small currencies, but if it happens on like day one, rock can be really annoying. Or Tujin can be really annoying. Uh no, but I think what he's implying is that normally he has to convert Danik to Danik to Rock. If I said the rock, I meant Danik, sorry. In my head expedition is only rock. I might have misspoke. Hello? <laughs> I hate how long it takes sometimes. Yo, you cannot crit yourself with trauma, right? Surely not. Surely that's not some like obscure mechanic that exists.
You don't use rogue exceptional, so you can Danek. So you can use Danek to convert to Dujan. Yeah, that's the idea. That is the idea. Ooh, fuck. Uh, not looking good. Okay, we are fine. That was not nice, though. Because this is uh, what Karn meant when you said a bad room, eh? There's no mobs to ever hit there, so unless you have worm files, this is always gonna happen, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I wasted more life files than I should have, admittedly, but still. Ah, oh, da 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 da. Oh my god, I hate the bears there. I have had a situation where I killed the mobs like on the way into the dark shrine, and then you just run in and <laughs> there's just bears already ready to explode. An aspirant can afford to be promised. An emperor Fucking bullshit. Okay, let's click that. And let's click suppress lucky. Never lucky, I didn't get it. Uh, you go there, there. Okay. Survive through the lab. That lab was rough, though. Not a fan of uh, lab on Slayer. It's the one thing where it really struggles. Well, like compared to other builds, right? It's just like annoying. Like, you can do it, but it's just more annoyance than it needs to be. I never rolled my flasks. Well, never rolled my uh, Quicksilver flask. Pretty sure it's white, yeah. There's no reason for me to even consider doing Blight. Because I have a Corrupted Amulet that I'm never changing in this run. Seven to six. Uh, should I do Kirak? I probably should do Kirak. And that works. I guess we don't need to do more Kirak missions, honestly. Did I ever click PT back? I didn't. Next DD. <laughs> and click that in lab because I had a diamond shrine. Or like 10% damage or whatever. I think 
god I remembered right now, because I feel like otherwise I would have run the entire run without it. We need two more there. Two more. Two more plus six. Plus like four or five plus one. What is that? Like 14 or something completion in total that we need? It's not, the answer is it's not a lot. <sighs> Math time. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm not overcapped on lightning rest. I'm not overcapped on lightning rest. Can I fix that somehow? On the belt. I mean, I don't know, just some random corrupted shit. Listen, sometimes you just get items. Let's click stuff on the ground. have a lookout either nice uh okay we are at 100 so that's already done which means now we just travel How much accuracy can I get? Like four or five hundred more? Or is there a life? Four or five hundred more? run that and then after the spider layer maybe I should click gym missions first here yeah I should probably before I travel not that it's a big difference but oh, speaking of June Link. So seventy-seven. I'm afraid. Bye bye. Okay. 
How many portals do I have? 19? I don't think I can hide them yet. I'm not good enough at looting them to have enough by now. Put some more uniques. All this fucking... It's so annoying. I don't think there's anything more annoying than hitting a... What's it called? Hitting like a rare... Sorry. Hitting a yellow map magic. It's like such a currency thing that there's not much you can do about. You just take it. Remember when we had harvest and you had infinite uh, map rolling currency? That was nice. I need a ritual game. I'm out of currency. Hit me up with a ritual, please. <laughs> I will do it. I promise I won't skip it again. Big time thing for shit players. Nice. Good. Oh, nice alchemies. Probably true though. Old Harvest was probably painful if you weren't like if you didn't have a plan for what you are doing, it was probably really bad. So they felt like they had to change it. They probably had a bunch of stats where people just spend like twenty minutes per map in harvest. And they're like they're just like, okay, we can't have this anymore. I mean, it, it takes a while to learn how to do harvest well. Like, it definitely did take a while. I could loot all of that. Do I want to loot all of that now? I should though, I need alchemies. I'll loot it on the on the way out of the map. The public slash tabs and notes, yeah, I still use it sometimes. It was really nice in harvest. Make it so made it so much easier. I still use it sometimes now. And I have like an item that I would like forget about or something, or forget what I wanted to do with it, but Definitely way less useful now. Tainted Peg version of Slayer? Oh no. I'm not fucking playing Tainted Peg in a round to 90. Okay, nice. I didn't over-level over my bone cheddar. I consider that a huge victory. Bring back Harvest Divine. True! That is, like, actually one of the functions of Harvest I miss the most. You missed out on so much power by not having, like, your items divined. It's, like, actually pretty annoying. Because you can't really justify divining your items. At least not in SSI. In trade, you, you can just click it, but... I mean, this thing you could do it in SSF too. But normally, no. Nice, a channel map. Hmm. 
One, two, three, one. I'm ready to enter red maps, I'm pretty sure. Just need the game to spoon feed me some maps. I mean, we have 100% wandering connected, so... We should be getting maps. 50-50 to get a tier 10 here. Oh my god, I almost backtracked into that. I don't know why I didn't explode yet. I guess I just went out of uh, range too soon. For sure my flask cap time on this run is really low. I don't know why, but I think when I played Bone Shatter last, I had auto flasks. And I played it on Jack. Because it was like a second character, so I don't have the... I don't have the habit of pressing bots on Bone Shatter now. Pretty sure like half the time I don't have them up. It's fine, Slayer doesn't need them. Honestly, I mean, if I can't instilling arms. <laughs> uh. Surely. I did not drop a map. I wouldn't worry about it just because I have a Kirak ready. But normally I would worry about it. One of my men followed and never do well with me. I know this is not fair. I'm gonna log out, get uh oh, ritual. I need a death. I need currency. There better not be some ritual that just disables your leech somehow randomly. It sounds like something GGG would do, honestly. Just so like in case Karn ever wants to do a ritual, they would be like, yeah, okay, you dead, see ya. <laughs> There's one. Oh, there is? Okay. Not surprised. How was the last epoch, by the way? I said it's still playing the, the healing hand stuff. The dead looks so boring. <laughs> oh, uh, it makes me, like, actually fucking not when I ever load up last epoch. I'm gonna be real. And I watch your gameplay. <laughs> Having fun, really? When I like compare that to like any other stream, it's like, dude, you just fucking. It's like Bone Shatter, but like without the splash. That's how it feels. Or that's how it looks. Push corruption, I see. Makes sense. Did I drop him up in this? No, I didn't. Alchemies. It's not alchemies. I'm gonna get rank one as a Zavarko corruption. What are you trying to do? If I can make them make a Reddit post about you, like Woody Joe? <laughs> uh, that fucking Reddit post was so funny to me. I mean, obviously it's not his fault, right? It's just like whoever fucking made that Reddit post, but... 
That was only a champion. I don't like that build personally, but I mean, it's fine. It's not like unplayable. I just don't like it. Diablo 4 Gauntlet Ladder. No one's fucking playing that. Stop. Uh, this note is fine. Compared to LA Champ, I mean, they're completely different builds. I, I don't even think LA Champ is really a build. I don't feel like I would ever play LA Champ. Like, that shit requires gear. Like, you can definitely play it, it just requires gear. I would rather load it up on Dead Eye and then die than play it on a champion, though. That's how I feel about it. I mean, I actually feel like the, the whole, like, gauntlet meme in D4, like, the, the gameplay looks kind of fine. Like, if the game was good, I, I feel like I would have no problem with, the, with that thing itself. Like, if you had something like that in PoE, it would be kind of fun. No? That is, that's how I feel. I feel like it would be pretty fun in PoE. It's just like, it doesn't fix the game, I guess, right? Like, it doesn't change how the game is. So like if you are enjoying it, it's probably like a fine thing, but if you are not enjoying it, I mean it's just awful. Or like it does nothing. I shouldn't say awful. I think we don't need any more completion after this. We need two, three more, I think. Uh, going in. Uh, I will watch that after. Maybe after I'm done with this run. I don't want to stop the run to watch back right now. If it was like at a more opportunate time, I would, but not well. I'm like halfway through maps. Yo. You're gonna watch a rip clip? True. Wonder if 40% less recovers bad. Bug has done a lot of standard practice though. So he might actually do well in the bosses. I'm banned? Wait, why? What? Huh? He's literally in a fight. Oh! Dude, they told me he- Oh my god. I blame the chatter that told me he is going in. How can he already be in a fight if he is in Shaper's Realm? issue. I am not taking the responsibility for that one. Noted, never wish back, good luck. I will remember that. Actually, more like never trust chat on any information you get. Ever. <laughs> That's probably the better takeaway there. Dude, give me maps. I'm not dropping any maps.
Okay, we got that. We get two tier nines. Two tier nines is kind of decent, I guess. I suppose. There's my support chair there. That's the last completion I need. I don't know where to click. Hmm. I guess we start clicking totem nodes, right? Do I need anything else but totem nodes? could grab like a uh, 300 more life or so grab like one small life note no i think i'm just gonna start clicking totem notes Where's the, where's the map, man? Hello? It's not dropping any maps. Isn't it supposed to be guaranteed? Pretty sure it's supposed to be guaranteed, but nothing dropped. It's over. I need to start dropping red maps. I'm more than ready to farm some reds. Am I frozen? Hello? This game is so bad. Just drop me a map. I hate map RNG, especially when you pull back into maps and then you don't get maps. That's when it's the worst. And this is a Gerak map, I guess it's not guaranteed to drop me a map. To be fair. Okay. Is there something possessed that makes you not be able to leech from it? I bet there is a ghost that does that. I mean, I know Remnant does it. Remnant of Corruption, but... I don't know if there is a ghost that does it. There is the one ghost that disables recovery, or not ghost, but... It's minions. But I don't know if that's also leech or just recovery, or like regen.
How's uh, portal situation? We need to loot some more portals and then we can uh, go straight to Peltrio. I need to full clear. I need to stop scooping mobs. At least when this unlucky. Dude, my filter's hiding mobs! Just kidding. underground see I need death. Huge. I need death for my free simian. Underground see bam 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 uh bam bam Come on, I didn't have time. Game. Hit me with the red map. I don't wanna lose more 50 50s. Good enough. Just wanted a different quick solar because I'm gonna be freezing in. This is kinda nice for overcapping, even though I shouldn't have a big issue with it. Oh no, it's a minus one. Do I full clear? Or do I leave? Oh, I got another tier 10. I think I'm leaving. Let's put in next tier 10. Uh, there, 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 there. Click that. Click that. More betrayal. Kind of want to start getting ready for the safe house, but I would rather it not be a tier 10. If I can help it. Also, where is the Rampage Axe, man? I feel like every single run I do, I drop the Rampage Axe, except the one run I do play melee. That item seems so common when you are not playing Bone Zone. And then you load up one Bone Zone character and you never see it. Connected map there. Probably should have been into the bus room. Man. Come on. Give me map drops, please. I hate being locked by map drops. This feels like playing Rue Plus all over again. Or nine GG.
Come on. Get me out of this Rupla's hell. I don't want to be here. There's a reason no one plays Rupla's. No one wants to... But those are not tier 10s. They're tier 1s. Oh my god. Yeah, I wasn't ready for double boss there. That was some Slayer Div. Because I did not react with my pot there fast enough. Come on, map drops, map drops, map drops, map drops, map drops. Tier 8? That's my map drop. Dude, I love Twitch chat. Oh, tier 10. Yesterday, Twitch chat was like, oh, different build every day means different DD every day. Day, day later. Oh, different build every day means different bone zone every day. Like... <laughs> What the, what the fuck? There's nothing you can do. You, you can never beat the Twitch chat. You know? Doesn't matter. Tomorrow is gonna be a different different fucking bow build every day. Or something. I don't know. We lost. That's not a connected map. We might be fine. Oh, tier 11, nice. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We are ramping, Chad. We are ramping. I mean, it's just like different people tuning on different days. Like, you can't really flame like a specific person for any of these comments. It's just like, you know, when you are here every day, it's like, oh, he always plays DD. Oh, he always plays Bone Zone. Can you play something? <laughs> uh, it is what it is, you know. Doing 50 laps and not getting your green transfigure jam, I bear. And like, I, I feel like at this point, some people probably will do it on purpose anyways. You know? So there's also that. Especially when I complain about it. You do a little bit of trolling. Hey chat. Sometimes. At least it's not just... Yeah, but... Uh, the thing is, if I was playing a course based skills, people would be yapping about that, so... <laughs> you know? It doesn't really matter <laughs> what you yap about. <laughs> I feel like some people would yap no matter what the skill is, really. It's okay. It's part of uh, being a streamer. You get. I would like to say you get used to it, but I don't know if you ever do. You build up some resistance to it. I guess is a way to put it. <laughs> At some point, you just start making fun of it. Sub on Patreon and make him play EA. Hey, can we not do that? I don't know if that... Listen, no one actually wants to see EA. Like, actually no one. Ooh, tier 10. Wait, that's not good. That's a minus one. No! Are we doing the same thing as yesterday, guys? Minus one equals Lamao, plus one equals uh, Nick Pog. You guys want to go with that? Oh no, not the Shrek. Oh no, not the fucking Shrek, man. Uh, I'm not mentally ready. Wait, isn't Slayer OP for Shrek? Actually, kinda. Because the Degen doesn't matter. Isn't Slayer just OP for everything? 
Let's see. I should have switched my cutters. Very good, not switching my cutters. Seven, eight, nine. Love leap summon this though. No. Oh, uh, you have to bait, and you have to wait ten seconds. I think it's ten. It might be like eight or whatever, but I usually count to ten in my head. So you cannot like do it instantly. Slayer Call, hello? Where's the call? Choking guild, eh? Slayer never chokes. Wait, where's my poacher's mark? I'm not leveling my poacher's mark. Must have uh, thrown it away at some point. Oops. But yeah, you have to bait it, but there is a cooldown to where he can come out. It's basically how it works. But yeah, can we stop getting bad map RNG? Again, guys. Plus one, Nick Pog. Minus one, Lamau. Let's see, last time this worked. And stop pre-typing. I know I know some of you are already pre-typing. Stop it. Oh my god, it's a minus one. It is a minus one. I don't even think I have a different tier 10 right now. I think all I have is tier 9s. Oh, just kidding. Two tier 11s, GG. I'll do this here then. Wait, there's a minus one connected. Oh no. You hate to see it. Oh! At least a uh, minus zero. Yeah, as long as we get some tier 11s, I think it's surely fine. You can't lose that many 50 50s in a row. I mean, you can, but like, hopefully, you don't. Level check eighty two, almost eighty two. I have no idea if I'm ahead or behind a DD run. 
My guess would be ahead. But probably not by much. Polaric invitation. I don't know what hit me there. Oh my, are you serious? Really? Fuck off. I hate seeing that. <laughs> it's like the worst way of getting lucky. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Happens. <laughs> Happens. Minus one polarity devastation. It is what it is. I minus one the other day in this map. Oh no. I don't know if I should be full clearing if I already dropped the connected map. That's the one thing I never know if it's correct or not. I feel like I don't have enough map to just ditch this map. Because if I lose another 50-50, I'm kind of just doomed. So I feel like I have to full clear. Another tier 10 out of it, could be worse. Okay now. Three point eight K accuracy, I can't really get more life or much more life at least. I wonder if there's any scarves that are actually worth putting in your map device in a run like this. If I ever wanted to like filter them. I doubt there's anything. I mean like breach is like okay to... Uh, probably not, honestly. Also minus one again. I think I'm pretty sure that after this map we are back to yellows, man. The map scarf? Oh yeah, true. Card of scarves actually good, yeah. It's not like insane, but you would use that one true.
Maybe this RNG is a lot more than I like a lot more usual than I thought it was. So I got like very similar yesterday. Oh well, but like I have done runs before. I'm pretty sure you used to drop a lot more maps. Relic query? I don't think relic query really. Well, yeah, I guess you could equip it through. Or like you could do it. If you have like any unique you would equip. That is true. GG. It's over. It is over. You hit 83 at 535 on DD chaining. Oh no, we are behind. Pretty sure we are behind. Or about even. No, I'm pretty sure we are behind. Which means we probably lose if we are behind by, by here. Because I don't think this gets better compared to DD. In like tier 16s. I mean, I know this doesn't get better compared to DD in tier 16s. DD best skill. I mean, I haven't even done the real DD run. I only did the DD of chain reaction. I expect DD to be faster than that. So you're bad? I mean, you're free to do a faster jack run. Actually, Nick would probably do a faster jack run than this. Maybe? I wanna say he would, yeah. VD run next. There's no way I'm playing VD. Well, not no way, but... I don't really see the appeal. It's just like DD, but like worse, kinda. It's not the same build, but it's too close in terms of like... I might as well just slot in DD and it's gonna feel better. I mean, if we keep getting betrayals, we might be able to keep up with the XP even in tier 11s, you know? Possible. Very unlikely, but possible. It's a safe house. I think I can venture coves now. Oh, that safe house is a tier 1 safe house. That was not the play. Whoops. I don't know if I wanna vendor up the coves. Probably do. Come on, plus one. Uh, just give me, you know, like a tier 12, 13, 14, back to back to back. It's not that much to ask for. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Literally. What did you say was the DD time? 5.35? Okay, this is gonna be DD to 83 then. Not that that's exactly the best, you know, measurement, but... Are you gonna be like 3 minutes ahead or something too? 3 actually. Almost 4 even. Didn't realize I was almost leveling. I guess safe house is still good XP, even 
I'm a little worried that I will start dying against these. Especially when they are not stacked and like perma stunned. Oh, I survived there. How much XP did I get? Well, I got a lot of XP there. Holy shit, I didn't even realize. I got like almost the full level in a tier 11 safe house. Oh, we are like almost a full level ahead of DD out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, like the safe houses are so dumb. I mean, we, we need to get tier 16 though. We need to get the tier 16s ASAP. Okay, tier 12. We take these. Oh, double tier 12. Okay, 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 okay. Ramped. Ramping. It's gonna be there, right? That's the boss room. That should be the boss room. I'm a little worried about this boss. Stun it, please. Okay, tier 12 time. I thought I was gonna get one by that column. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny, actually. Full junk round mode, get one shot by a white golem. Please don't be cannot leech. Okay, it's not cannot leech, we're fine. Whatever it is, it's not bad enough. Ah, uh, I'm stuck, help. Please drop a tier 13. Please drop a tier 13. That's not a 13. We lost. Would type drop tier 11? I'm gonna get you after this map. Don't even try to hide. Are you better, Skater? That's the wrong way, oops. I thought it would continue down, but it continues up. Bonzoon Slayer until you click Expedition, then it's not fun anymore. Have you considered just not doing Expedition and like gearing through like Harvest and Essence and stuff, if that's how you feel? Because like you definitely do not need to do Expedition on every single build. I mean, this build is kind of good for Expedition in terms of like gearing, to be fair, but just Rock gives a lot of accuracy shit. 
But it might still be worth considering not to do that. If you hate it a lot. I'm just gonna clean my inventory a little bit. There's a decent amount of mods that are bad, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want to play uh, Big Boom on this build, for example. I think that would feel pretty bad, but... I don't know. There's like other stuff you can do. Yeah, Chad, do you guys remember what I wanted to click at the start of the run and I have like five extra points and I don't really know where to put them? I can click them in like cleaving. Doesn't sound amazing, but it's better than nothing. Is that what it's called? Oh, cage tier 13. Oh, boss rush time. Boss rush time, run into every dead end. Okay, double cage, GG. I'm not even gonna ID. It's all good. Okay, maybe we are climbing in tiers now? Need to get scours. Oh my god, I almost died in my first spike of the map. Maybe I should have ID'd. I regret not IDing. No, stop running, please. Oh my god, I almost got one shot. Party so tanky. Okay, it's fine, just run away, don't kill me. Where the map drops. Where the map drops. Tier 14 and a second. Next pack, tier 14. Next pack, tier 14. Dude, we can't be getting unlucky forever. Right? I don't even think I dropped one of the connected maps here. It's over. It is over. Maybe I should have cleared. Like, full clear to go back. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. You know that streamer client? I, I would if I had one. You think I would be complaining about map drops if I had access to streamer client? I would already be on. Or maybe I used all the, you know, the streamer coins to get the tabula in this run. 
That would be a very poor usage of them. Oh no, that's minus one. No, minus two even. I mean, you think that, but you don't know the fact that there's people in Last Depot who have Streamer Client Plus, okay? Which is basically PoE Streamer Client. How do you think some of the people were... Uh, oh, no, minus one. How do you think some of the people were playing when the servers were so so dead? Huh? I shouldn't even spread this shit. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I felt like saying that stuff. <laughs> I just felt like being a little shit. Sometimes it, sometimes it do be like that. Some some people will take this stuff seriously, so I shouldn't be saying it because there's people who think it's a real thing in PoE. It is not. Well, if it is, I don't have access to it, so... Oh, tier 14! It... And that heavy build. That heavy build is an upgrade too. GG. Oh, I'm not rest cup. Lightning rest cup. Uh... I can recraft. So if you feel like there is a streamer client that should help you narrow it down to who would have access to it, you know? Streamer client was the main until ultimatum came out. Good ultimatum, they just flagged accounts to get through the queue. It's very different from flagging accounts to get more loot. If you thought they didn't have the option to interact with accounts before that, that's just on you. Like, I would be more concerned if they didn't have that option. Exactly, I mean... I don't think it was a good decision, but I feel like it's probably an understandable decision from their point of view. They... paid... Oh my god, they paid a bunch of people money to play their game. And, uh, you know, they wanted to let them actually play it instead of being fucking stuck in queue. The fact that they gave it to some PoE streamers was a little questionable, though. I feel like if it was only, like, the non-PoE and these people would be a lot more okay with that. I need to start IDing these maps, they become too repair. Oh shit, you're 16. I don't want Chimera, but I'm down to run a tier 16. Nice, Mino. I mean, the whole problem was like, people felt like, oh, they have advantage, right? Like. Realistically speaking, if the only people who fucking got like a streamer clan were like variety and these that got sponsored to play PoE, no one would actually care. It would be like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. But when people like, you know, MPs is uh, Rise, it doesn't really matter who the people are once, it, once it's like actual PoE players. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Equating that to there being increased drops for streamers is weird. But I understand where the paranoia comes from, I guess. Oh my god, we are actually dropping maps. GG. 
Giving a head start seems weird. Eh. I don't think it's as impactful as you think it is. It's a fucking like trade league star, like none of that shit actually matters. It's annoying though, don't get me wrong, but like I don't think like the competitive advantage is the reason why it's annoying. It's annoying to watch people play a game you wanna play and you're not being able to. It's not annoying that Empyrean has two extra chaos to his name because he could play fucking 30 minutes earlier or whatever. At least that's how I see this shit. I don't know, they shouldn't have done it. The benefit of it was so low. And like the long term like breach of trust that it caused because some people didn't realize that they would have access to do like to like flag individual accounts to do stuff, which like I don't know why you would think that wouldn't be an option before that. Like come on. But I guess people didn't think Think of it as an option, and then after ultimatum, they were like, "Oh, GGG can do this, so they can give the icons more loot too." I mean, yeah, they always could. Doesn't mean they're doing it. But I understand, like the whole being upset about it. Don't get me wrong, I was upset about it. I was sitting in queue. It, it sucked even more as a streamer, let me know, uh, let, let me tell you. You think anyone's gonna watch you fucking sit in a queue when people are actually playing the game? No. Like, it was even worse for the streamers who didn't get the streamer client than for like a regular ND. Let's be real. <laughs> uh, it's not fun. I mean, I was very irrelevant back then, but the fact that, like, Lily wasn't in was, like, really fucking criminal. And yeah, then there was the whole thing where people were upset about Empyrean's group get getting in for like no reason like you can justify streamers getting in but like why are people in MP's group getting in and then on top of that MP and his whole life isn't fair thing right Didn't have Lilith's account name. Yeah. At least they had account name of fucking every single member of Empyrean's group, I guess. Uh, if they wanted to, like, I don't know, man. Listen, it takes two words in Google to find out what's Lilith's account name. Like, you type, okay, three. You type DS Lily space poe space profile and you know her account name like that's not a real excuse come on i don't want to hear that i mean that's literally how i still open like steel mage's profile i just type steel mage poe profile because i'm i don't know dude <laughs> it's not that hard if i can type that into google Do I have only one tier 16 or two? No, I have two, okay. I would rather not do Domino, but I will do it if I have to. I 
I'm definitely not doing the drugs. Another minnow, okay. Um... Getting there though. A little late to tier 16, but what can you do? Oh my god, why is this map so empty? It is six. This time it'll be you begging for your life. Why? You could have more. I think I'm gonna have full curious mouth to try to look for this bitter stuff. Now that I know it's in the map, I think it's worth looking for. What do I have any good maps to favor it? I don't even know if I do. You guys remember me running any good maps so far in this run? Like high tier good map? Kinda don't remember any. I'll be just TP out. That that end is too long. Okay, that's two bosses ready to go soon. I wonder how bad the either exarch are gonna be. I don't have a ruby plus this time. Exarch might be a fucking disaster. <laughs> Loki wanna level up before, but I know I shouldn't. Maybe I should. Like honestly, maybe I just should. I don't really wanna lose XP. I'm gonna run the minimaps. maps. Yeah, leveling shouldn't take that much. It's just I don't wanna run out of maps because of it, right? Because it means you're getting 15s instead of 16s, but I can run these minnows at least. I'm gonna run this minnow 
prayer, skip the boss on this one, and maybe run boss on the other one. I don't even know if there's a reason to run the boss, honestly. Like, what am I getting from there? From Minnow, like, it's just favorite slot. Do I care about the favorite slot? Not that much. A little bit, I guess. Might do divide me now. For the favorite slot. Just because I don't really know what I wanna favorite yet, but I do wanna favorite something. Wonder if iceberg is six tier sixteen. I think it would be. I don't mind iceberg map. See, these like two wilds, it's like a reason one to why to do the boss before I level up, but... It's fine. It is... fine. I said I'm not doing the boss and I do the boss. I'm missing PT on this map. Uh Minnow 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 Minnow, you go in. One of my captives fell to no emotion. He did not hesitate to inflict pain. Now all he sees is intense, unstoppable agony. Ultimatum. No oh, way, dude. I never got an exalt in this run for the weapon craft. I mean, I probably don't even have the weapon craft. I don't know which map it is in nowadays. Is this worth killing? Probably not. But I mean, uh, it's kind of fun to do. To test. Got a free tank from it. Maven invitation deformed. Okay, last map. Then we do the bosses. And then we finish the... The 90. I think that guy wasn't even bad, yeah. I should have uh, pulled him towards uh, the 50% shock from the beams. That would have been way better. And then, then pop all my cooldowns. But yeah, single target was like acceptable. I agree. I mean, I probably have a similar... I mean, yeah, right? I had similar amount of single target that DD would have. Maybe even more. But you're not gonna have that actual damage on like Eater or Exarch because you don't have like Rage and like on kill effect and Warchief always ready and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a lot worse on Eater slash Exarch.
I didn't level. Rip. Oh yeah, I need multi totem too. I need multi totem for bosses. Which it's easy to fit because I need to drop some sockets anyways. Might even be able to fit in MAME on top of that. Pretty sure I am able to fit MAME on top of that. No. I'm getting stuck everywhere. Some mobs level up. Not getting any betrayal in here either. A little on forge. Maybe level, that's good. Two tier 16s. Okay, we are good on maps. I'm gonna do exact first. I need to grab flame dash. Ah, I need to grab that. It's a problem, mana. Okay, it's fine. Silly dad. Oh, my water banner is not on. I can't see the Your absurd defiance ends here, Hashling. Come on. I don't like the fact that I'm dying to his auto attack so much. Oh, I don't have life loss charges. I don't like this. Okay, I think we are victorious. Wait, he has more HP than I thought he would have. We are not victorious yet.
Nice. Okay. That was pretty good, actually. Didn't get it a single time. Kinda clean. 90% cows there will be true, actually. It's really nice. Because it's like, realistically, on some of these bosses, it's more than 20%, right? Because, like, the fight kinda doesn't start until, like, 80. Or whatever. I cannot think that. I should switch to first blink here. Did I change the Pantheon? I wanted to change the Pantheon, but I don't know if I remembered. I did not. Molten Strike is probably the best. I mean... Depends like what you want to consider melee. If you consider Steel Skulls melee, then Steel Skulls are probably better than Molten Strike on most builds. And then uh, if you... Wanna go by tag, then technically the best melee build for bossing is probably Blade Trap. But the Molten Strike is pretty good. Definitely up there. I did not expect that to hit me. I don't know what it was. I'm Bush and Assassinate, eh? Isn't that actually pretty good? Where's Iceberg? Kinda down for some like Iceberg plus Coves or something. The 7 DNSC? Holy, I'm getting rage in these runs. Two D yesterday, seven D today. How much is it gonna be tomorrow? Oh, this is a fucking poison map. Oh, we have a problem. It's 100% cannot leech or something, or like less recovery. I don't know what it is, but there's no way I'm taking that much damage from one poison. I guarantee you it's something like that. There's just no way. Residence, residence. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Okay, I need scours. I don't know if I have scours, but I need scours. I don't I didn't check if I had chance orbs or not there. Did I die there on the lo on that logout? I don't think I did. I have XP, never mind. I guess oh yeah, it's because I leveled right before the bosses. Makes sense. Sorry, 
sure. Sure. Should be enough for a safe house, nice. I have the wrong key binds for War Chief. Come on, I wanna hit 90 before like 645 ideally. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. I have one. I think it's only one. I don't remember a second one. I died to the one shrine. I thought I picked it up, started attacking, and turns out I didn't pick it up. It's like tier five mob or something. Like pretty early on. A little unfortunate, but happens. This boss is definitely not worth killing. I don't know why I'm killing this right now. Maybe it was actually. Wildwood to 90. I don't do Wildwood in these rounds. This map stands no chance against Slayer. <laughs> probably true, honestly. Like, I probably could do some Wildwood, but I just don't do it. Like, I don't interact with the Ascendancies at all, nothing. I could, just don't really want to. Maybe on some builds I will make an exception. All that matters is for Slayer to beat DD. It's the only goal. Those two safe houses on the way there. Oh my god, I almost died to that fucking explosion, really? I don't even know if I should be like full clearing this map now that I did betrayal. I might just leave this map. Save house number one. It's not gonna be enough to spawn Katarina, I will need more. I saw someone die in a safe house recently. I think it was in Gauntlet. Someone like rerolled into maps and then died in a safe house. Because it was like an 83 safe house at level 75, they just didn't realize or something. Or they got greedy as fuck. Possible. <laughs> Both of them are possible. That's another one. How does one proliferate their melee attacks? What do you mean proliferate? Bone Shatter just has like pretty big AoE when you do stun. And uh, I have extra strike and splash, which is just like extra dam. Or like extra AoE. But there is no proliferation in the same way there is like ignite proliferation. Yeah, 
Usually you have just have to rely on the skill to actually have some decent AoE. Okay, so we are what, 88? 88, we have half an hour to, to finish the 90. Uh, yeah, anyone wants to do a quick time check compared to the vote yesterday? I have a bad feeling that we are gonna be behind. Or at least it's gonna be very even and I, I had a lot of betrayal at the end of last run. That's true, actually. You can have the fear of losing everything in softcore very easily now with void maps. It's kind of good. I really like the whole void map meme in, in softcore. It gives softcore trade some endgame that's not just Dell. That's a good point. No, 655 was the full run. I know that. I'm aware of that timing. I mean, that's what we are trying to beat. I was talking about uh, 88. Because it's probably pretty close, but I had a lot of betrayal at the end of the DD run. Hopefully we get a lot of betrayal here too. Rambo Valley? I like Rambo Valley, just put it in, fuck it, why not? Skip the boss. Rambo Valley has like decent mobs. 632? Oh really? Okay. We should be fine then. As long as we get some betrayal, we should be fine. I didn't realize that uh, I got the last two levels so fast on DD. Yeah, betrayal is very good XP. It's like the best SS of XP in my opinion. Oh. Technically there's other stuff that you can do to gain more XP, but it all requires like a lot more setup and a lot stronger character. Betrayal is just very easy and cheap XP. It's what most people do when pushing to 100 in SSF as far as I know. Like when casually pushing to 100, you just do a bunch of betrayal and farm some stuff while doing it. It's good. Safe houses are definitely nice. Yeah, I know I had the mastermind on the on the witch. I'm not sure if I will get a mastermind in this run, but I think I will. I'm on my path to get there in time. I just need like one or two more safe houses. Doesn't sound unrealistic. Against the watching queen, that's fine. When I was younger, I also liked clowns a lot. I loved going into circuses. It's pretty much what Quinn's stream is. Nothing to judge there. It's entertaining. I personally can't really watch Quinn's stream for long periods of time because the stalling is like a little too much for me. But uh, you know, when you tune in and there's actual stuff happening, it's entertaining. Is what it is. You are judging me. Listen, as a kid, you don't realize that circuses are bad, okay? You just don't know that. What am I gonna do? Blame my parents for not telling me? 89, 640? Okay, thanks.
<laughs> Junk food of streaming? Uh, nah, I don't think that's true. Gwyn is like the like abstract art museum rather than junk food of streaming. It's like something that like it, it doesn't make sense, you know, but people make people find it interesting and entertaining. I, I feel like that's more appropriate than junk food. Junk food is like just chatting streams, like. That's what I would consider junk food streams. He was a react ND. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Quinn, Quinn does react from time to time. But I, I swear, I feel like Quinn gameplay streams are more entertaining than his react streams. I mean, at least for me, they are. Homeless man drawing gravity. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Gwen's stream actually has like... like... I know it's being used for me, but it is like one of the highest production value of like any stream on Twitch, really. There's a setting in... Like, if you go to settings and you just look for in-game clock, you will find it. Which is a new UI option. Really? I love watching your streams. And that's the best part about Twitch. Like, anyone can find any something they enjoy, right? That's like... It's the OP part of Twitch. There's just so much content that pretty much anyone will find something enjoyable. Oh, you mean that? Yeah, that one is an MTX. Sorry. I thought you meant... I see what you mean. Sorry. That one is an MTX. You can buy it, but I think it's called Timekeeper's Hideout. I don't remember the cost. I think it's like 27 bucks or something. It's like relatively expensive, yeah. I mean, it's not as expensive as Vinx, but... Oh my god, I got almost one shot. It was on sale a day or two ago. Oh no. I think if you message GGG... Like, if you actually want it, right? If you message GGG that you missed the sale, I think... They would be able to, like give you the sell price i'm not sure exactly how it works but i've heard people doing that before it's still on sale oh, okay how much is it out of curiosity on sale Seems pretty cool to know the map times. I like it a lot, yeah. I'm pretty sure it makes me subconsciously go faster. That's the main reason why I like it. That's why I bought it. Uh, there's different versions, yeah. There's three different versions. Of the map device. It's like gold, silver, bronze, I think, or whatever. I don't remember if, it, if it's that, but there's three different ones. No! Oh my god, that chaos damage, it was so much. 
Actually, I thought I was dead there. Slayer carried. Okay, we are 89. 630. I mean, still ahead. I don't think I will get a Katarina, though. Oh, I mean, I didn't swipe. Well, I swiped, but I didn't box. I didn't spend my boxes for it. I waited patiently till, till it gets to the store. I didn't want to spam the boxes. Fuck that. I'm not a box believer. Or supporter. I spent 3k points on boxes this league. I mean, I spent like 500, even though I say I'm not a supporter. I'm gonna be real. I spent like 500 this league. I bought a bunch. Doesn't BPX get cheaper points though? Oh. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe he said that he's poor afterwards, not beforehand, you know? That's the other option. I checked, I spent more than 500 on PoE, so I could... I mean... We don't really know how that's gonna work. I would wait till they give us information. I mean, if it's 500, I'm definitely getting in. I mean, if it's a 1k, I'm also getting in, so... There. And if it's a supporter pack that's gonna be like new, I will just buy it, so. How much is it? It used to be 30 bucks supporter pack or $500 lifetime spend on PoE. That's what it used to be for previous betas, but this is a while ago. Maybe it changed, you know? AA games used to be 60 bucks, now they are like 90. Oh, they already said it's going to be a supporter pack, we just don't know if it's going to be a $30 or whatever. But you still get like points and stuff, even even if... So, it's, it's definitely worth buying if you want to play the beta. That's what it is. I mean, they know how to get us. Pay to play? Yeah. But the actual game is going to be free. Well, free. Free if you have stash tabs in PoE 1, I guess. I mean, they said that they want a lot of people testing, though. So maybe not. Maybe they won't up the prices. Because they said they wanna like that's like stress test the game and test out the like auction house systems and stuff, so they kinda need a decent amount of people. So I would assume it's not gonna be like impossible to get into the beta. I'm guessing it's still gonna be a thirty dollar supporter pack. Probably some streamer keys as well. Yeah, maybe. No, GGG, please. <laughs> Get some keys. How much you find? Where do you find it? There was some, like, script for it. But, I wouldn't, I mean... You could just check your purchases, I guess. I don't think there's, like, a good way on how to find it. GG doesn't just have like one number to show you. Because they know that if they did, everyone would be fucking, oh my god, I spent so much. Okay, I need to stop spending on this game. But they don't really want to tell you, you know? 
I mean, the way I look at BOE, I mean, I spent a bunch, but one, you know, it's my job. Two, even before it was my job, like, the amount of hours I play this game makes it, like, well worth the, time, well worth the money. Is there any reason to rush either Exarch or Nasty Trey just for the Void Stones? Uh, the reasoning would be so... It helps with map drops a lot, I think. And that's... I would consider the biggest reason. Otherwise... I don't think there's like a good reason to rush rush. But it's always good to get to tier 16s fast, right? Um... Let's do that. Let's do that. Guaranteed Ashes. I don't think Ashes is a lot of money nowadays, man. I hate to say it. I don't think Ashes is a lot of money. I don't think so. I don't think they have, no. At least I don't remember them doing that. I don't think they have ever done anything with Twitch except drops. Wow does that stuff, right? The... To give subs or whatever. I think D4 did it too. I don't know how like how many other games do it. You know what GGG should do? They should do the Valorant scam thing. When beta is running, if you are watching like PoE on Twitch, you have a chance to win a beta key. Oh, that shit was farming when Valo was coming out. And it gave yours two cheddars, yeah. That's all you need sometimes. I'm a little scared of this still round. I can't really commit the way I would want to commit. Okay, I run this map and then I run the Katarina and that should be it. I always say he is, you know, making it extreme, but there's a lot of people AFK in the Valorant section trying to grab a key and probably a lot of like bots too. Sure hope they do separate PoE PoE two categories. I feel like they should do it, but I don't know if they will do it. Feels like there's an incentive to do both. To a certain extent. I think it should be... Uh, if they actually want to pretend... Well, not pretend. If they actually want to claim the games are different games, they should separate. I don't mean they're actually pretending they're different games. I think they are different games, but... You know, that's how GG's marketing them, too. Wow did it, and it's, like, extremely annoying, honestly. Like, I don't want to fucking watch Retail WoW. You think I want to watch Retail WoW? No, no one wants to watch Retail WoW. And then it's in the fucking same section as, like, you know, Good WoW. I mean, it depends on when 
GG decides to do. I'm pretty sure they can do either. I don't think Twitch is gonna force a hand. I, I guess I should have said better, not good. Good is a little strong word there. Okay, this might be it. There will be a lot of people who will play either POE 1 or 2. I don't know about that. I think there's gonna be a lot of people who will only play POE 2. I don't know how big PO like, I don't know how many people will only play POE 1. I mean, there's gonna be some, don't get me wrong, but... I don't know if it's gonna be a lot. It's like you that wanna How do you know? <laughs> like, are you already pre hating PoE2 like a bunch of other people? At least try out PoE2 before you hate on it. I don't know, but people. I, I hate the whole like pre hating video games before they even come out or before you really see. I think less people will play PoE2. You think less people will play PoE2 than PoE1? Really? I feel like there is. I think that's very, very unlikely. I don't want to say impossible because it's definitely not impossible. But I would be surprised if that was the case. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. And maybe PoE2 is gonna be a huge disaster and no one's gonna play it. But saying there's gonna be less people playing PoE2, that would mean that... Well, I guess you're not you're talking like long term, not on launch, right? But like, keep in mind that fucking last Epoch highest played on fucking Steam is higher than PoE. Like, obviously that is not gonna remain like that, but... You know? I would be very surprised if the launch of PoE2 wasn't more successful than launch of Last Epoch, let's put it this way. No, I mean like total. That's not what, that's not what I mean, BPX. I mean the, the peak on Steam, I mean obviously PoE is played off, stream to, off Steam too, but the peak on Steam is higher for Last Epoch than it is for PoE. By quite a bit, too. Like 20% or so. I mean, I don't think PoE2 is gonna be as slow as people think. They literally said that, like, it was slowed down on Exalcon on purpose to showcase stuff. And, like, they are gonna be tuning. And I'm just not worried, I guess. I don't know. We will see. I mean, it's pointless to speculate. I just don't like when people are pre-hating a game they haven't even played. Oh, he got it. 642. I mean, pretty good. Slash plate. Slash devs. It's the one Divine Shrine that we got. I mean, we beat the DD time by, what, 13 minutes? Realistically speaking, that uh, is probably the thanks to the tabula. Uh, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is.